Hi, guest designer Alison Tarry here. Just want to tell you about an amazing show we've got coming up on Sunday morning. It's all about starting off with seed beading. So whether you're new to jewellery making, whether you're just new to seed beading and you want to try a new medium, join us. We've got, look, I've got even more goodies I've just picked up. Loads and loads of um, examples for you, loads of, loads of techniques for you. Join us Sunday morning, myself and Vicky Carr. Can't wait. You can watch our Jewellery Maker show every day on our website by clicking the Watch and Buy Online link in the top right hand corner of our homepage. Welcome to Jewellery Maker. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. It's fantabulous to be with you, in particularly as just look at just this one piece of jewellery. Just a little something whipped up. Yeah, right. <laughs> Isn't this just divine? First kit. And the great thing about the kit is that this is not the only piece that has been made with one kit. So this is one kit, but also with this, there have been a couple of pair of earrings made, there's been a beautiful pendant made, and this is just kit one. Wait until you see kit two, which is a whole other kettle of fish. It is absolute splendid jewellery today, and it is being created by our wonderful Monica! Hi Monica, how are you? Hi, good thanks, are you? Yes, very good. good, good. Um, good. Tell us a bit about these kits today please. Oh, I just love them. I mean the, the first one as you can see is amazing and the second one is just so colourful, lots of colours. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> you can tell that you've had a lot of fun making this jewellery. I have, yeah. Yeah. Lovely Monica is going to be whipping up a piece of jewellery in a moment or two with us, well about an hour from now. Before that we've got loads and loads and loads and loads of treats. I just want to show you a few of my star buys. I've got some special trios for you today. Trio of fluorite coming up as your first star buy. Trio of citrine coming up as your second. Trio of amethyst coming up as your third. All in this hour. Pretty magical, it really is. Especially, uh, well for me, especially the fluorite, I'll be honest. Uh, it's really incredible quality. It's gonna come up, oh I'm dropping everything here. There's only 20 of the floor, right, I'm afraid to say. Oh, I've got to show you me one to me must have tonight. So at 8 o'clock we do the big and exciting, um, usually brand new or brand new low price um, treat for you. Today is a launch, launching strand. Have a little look at this massive set of chrysocolla pendants. This is launching. You have got here an incredible set of pendants, brand new, ready and waiting to be made. Totally natural. We have been seeing quite a lot um, from Mexico, etc. recently, haven't we? Not today, we're going to the kind of, you know, original location, let's say, the Congo we're going to get this from. So that is coming up for you in a little bit. Should we get started the proper way? My name is Rebecca Rodekin, but you can call me Becky. And this Friday evening, we are going to be giving you treats, goodies galore. Starting off with what, lovely Liam? How about we start with, he's thinking about it. Yeah, no problems. 
These are whoppers of Druzy. You ready for this? back in the day when we used to do uh, druzies like this and we used to do three on a strand but they were never this big they were never even that big they were always smaller than this i'm not bringing you three on a strand though look at the amount isn't that incredible so for those of you who don't know what druzy is there's a couple of ways of explaining it and i'm going to use one way to explain it uh, today because it is hot as you like outside so essentially there's a geode which is a porous rock and what happens is, um, for example, silica-based substances run across the porous rock, but it's porous, so a little bit like a sponge, you go, and takes in all of the, the silica-based substance. And then over a long period of time, these will solidify and they grow into crystals. And sometimes it will be uh, forming into druzy because it's excavated too soon, or sometimes uh, for it to be fully formed, or sometimes it's because of a change in circumstance. So you know how warm it is outside at the moment. If you've been you know, driving like myself today and it's absolutely baking when you're in your car, especially when your air conditioner has stopped working, um, it's absolutely baking. And like a, a lorry goes past you or you go under a bridge and you're in that little bit of shade for those few seconds and you just feel so much cooler instantly but then you go past the shadow and all of a sudden you're baking hot again that's kind of in a way what happens to druzy so if the temperature if the pressure changes too quickly then essentially the formation <laughs> It's not quite the same as driving, but you know what I mean? Um, the, the, if the situation changes that much, then essentially the druzy does not fully form um, and therefore you'll get left with this, which is basically the raw crystal structure. So if you want to treat yourself right here, right now, you can grab it for 14,095 pence. And that, I will just let you know, is slightly lower than the price we used to do three of this size for. But I'm bringing you, oh, it's a little fly in here. I am bringing you one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the large pieces. Under a tenner we're going to today. Yep, eight pounds and 95 pence. That is a brand new low. It's only ever been seen at 14.95. But this is what we like to do on a Friday evening. For all of you who've been working hard, nine to five, Monday to Friday, and you want to treat yourself to some goodies, then this is definitely the one for you. We love hearing from you on Friday. Let us know what you're up to this weekend. Maybe you're going to a wedding. You want to give someone a little hey there, hello. Friday is taking place so do feel free to text us in let us know what you're doing maybe you've got something exciting on maybe you're you know you're catering for people whatever it might be we'd love to hear from you do feel free to message us in jewelrymaker.com or um you can text in as you've just seen there so do grab these now whilst you can brand new low what would you do with these monica well they're certainly big enough to be pendants on their own aren't they so with seed beads i would definitely bezel them yeah um i would also use maybe the smallest one for a ring would be fantastic. Uh, yeah, lots of things you can do with them. <laughs> They're very enticing. They're very magical looking. So have fun with them. Have fun. I'm going to bring you one more now. Ooh, slightly more of a buttercupery. Buttercupery. Yes, you heard. Buttercup colour. It is mega mega summery. Very summery indeed. Reminds you of a unicorn. Yeah, I can understand that unicorn-esque you've got this beautiful selection of color and a lovely amount of glitter one thing that i don't think the kind of studio lights really get in here is just how incredible that light is so let me just show you one by itself up close and personal it's magical isn't it you have got here an incredible array of colour and all of that is due to the coating that we've placed on the top of this. So we're bringing to you now a matching price. It's only ever been, oh, it's been put on the opposite way. Uh, it's only ever been $8.95, but for you, uh, sorry, $14.95, but for you today, $8.95. So you'll see the back of these ones are completely smooth, so it's lovely against the skin, really nice. And that is just essentially where we've cut this crystal, so it's nice and soft against your skin. But on the other side, you get this beautiful plethora of colour this beautiful amount of sparkle and it's just eight pounds and 95 pence plenty of people treating themselves to it seven pendants on this one oh yeah you'd easily make your money back even if you were just to sell them for a fiver 
fiber each, 8 95 for the whole strand, jobs are good and isn't it? And I've got some pretty incredible um, seed beads that will go alongside this actually today. What do you think? Thought I dropped them there. Ooh, hello mum delicus. Pretty incredible those aren't they? What do you reckon? That's first kit. There's approximately 15 of you who need to check out your baskets I'm being told so do feel free to do so right now. Remember that £3.95 potion packaging is a one off for you. Beep, 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 beep. Oh Liz, let us know what she's up to this weekend. This weekend I'm making twin polymer clay pendants for two lovely ladies who will be 70 this month. Oh Liz, that is such a lovely idea. So twin as in you're going to do like a set of them the same for them to have matched. That is so lovely. Oh, is that nice? Have a really good fun time crafting. Polymer clay is a really nice kind of craft to do when it's quite warm, I think, because it's it's not dead fiddly. I mean, it can be, but it's not really, really fiddly, is it? It's quite, and, and also remember the clay, I think, is so much easier to work on a warm day, isn't it? Trying to do polymer clay in the winter can be a little bit tough on your hands, can't it? Liz, have a fabulous time, my love, and I'm sure they will adore your pictures. Don't forget, you can send your pictures in the Wall of Fame. Maybe win a bit of, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> we are moving on to, oh, let's do some sterling silver, yes, please. We have got, oh, I've not seen these before. There's not many of these. These are divine. I've not seen these ones. Have a little look. Oh, sorry. Look at what you have here. This beautiful double layered, if you will, twist earrings. I am looking at these and I'm seeing the peacock eye kind of shape. Do you know what I mean? So maybe you could actually seed bead across this or with wire, not even seed beads, use wire and go across it and almost channel set different colours in. So maybe make this bit here blue and this bit here green. But do you see how it's sort of double layered because it's essentially a continual um, piece of solid silver silver? That is such a good price for what you're getting. The, um, there's loads of things that you can add to these, of course. Twin, uh, two grams uh, of sterling silver in these, just over. So you're getting a big amount of, of security. You can see on this recording how beautifully they layer up. I just want to say, intriguing. They're a split ring. That is very intriguing. Let me grab my tweezers so I can show you. Or maybe my ruler of truth would be useful. But let me show you. This is a split, so they're not soldered together. Can you see that? See what I mean? So you could actually even drape sort of cords through there, maybe do like a tassel design and then close it shut a bit, maybe give it a little bit of a hammer and you could actually have that element running down so you wouldn't need added jump rings maybe to add it on. That could be kind of unique, couldn't it? What would you do with these ones, Monica? Well, I was just thinking you could uh, use brick stitch and, and uh, bead around the edges of it and then attach the, the daggers that you had early on, like you were saying, for a peacock effect. That's a lovely idea. Down to single figures on these ones, so I better move it on, haven't I? But well done, down to single figures. Let's bring you some more sterling silver, but this time in rose gold and lobster claw clasps. What have I done with my tweezers? Have I had them yet this show? I've probably flung them somewhere, says Liam. I don't recall. Oh no, Dan. Not the ones that are normal tweezers. You've seen how dangerous I am with my reversibles. Oh, Chris is... Don't worry, Chris, I understand. I just robbed him as well, though. That, that's how good these ones are. Otherwise, I'd fear for your life with those ones, Dan. <laughs> Have a little nosy at what we've got here. These are your rose gold lobster claw clasps. You've got beautiful element here because they are so seamless. These ones, personally, I suggest maybe using with your um, seed bead designs. And the reason I'm saying that is because if, I, if you look at, say, one on the side view, see how there's no jump ring added? So that means that if you wanted to use your beading thread or whatever through this or your fire line through this, 
Unlike in a jump ring where there is an opening, however small, there is always a chance that the very fine threads can pop through. Whereas this is a completely soldered finish, so you just slide them through there as many times as you want. I'll just show you properly from the side. Slide them through there, and unlike when you have a class that has a jump ring on the end, you're not going to be worried that that thread's going to pop out because you've got all of this section here, as you can see, um, to, to give it that finish. 6,095 pence, and that is for 10 of them, so you're looking about 70p per one. And when you consider this is silver with rose gold over the top, I think that's a really, really affordable price point. Um, we're looking at over two grams on this one again, so it's a fabulous price point that you're working with there. Do keep dialing and grabbing whilst you can. Nice work. How's about some more trigger clasps, but larger? You're over here. Oh, yeah, they're lovely. So these ones do have the jump rings on the end. They, I'll just double check for you, are, look to be saw cut. Here you go. Have a little nosy at that. So I'll just show you in comparison to the others, just to give you an idea. Here you are, look. So these ones might be perfect for your bracelets or your slightly daintier jewellery, and then these ones maybe for your necklaces. We have got for you three of these ones, and again, there's a lot of me uh, metal. So named trigger clasp. Trigger clasp gives you an idea of shape. It also gives you an idea of the mechanism within it. So essentially, you're going to pull that lever backwards, and as soon as you let go of the lever, it will snap shut. Not all clasps do that. Some you need to push um, to give you that finish. Three pounds and ninety-five pence for all three of them today. They're a very luxurious look. They do say ninety-five on them as well. I'll put it in the wrong way, sorry. They do say 95 just there, can you see that? Just on the actual uh, clasp section, the trigger section, it's just there. Uh, so everyone will know you're giving really great quality. And if you do love your sort of rose goldy colours, then this kid is on its way. Because that to me is a pretty fantastic matchup, isn't it? We have got two kits for you today that I feel like you're going to really, really like because they're both just a little bit unusual. Uh, do feel free to check out your baskets whilst you can. Multi buyers in on this one, which is always nice to see. I hope you've had a fabulous week thus far, and if not, don't worry, it's the weekend. So I'm sure you're going to have a fabulous time. Feel free to let us know what you're up to. Of course, we want to know what you're eating on a Friday night, so do feel free to message us in as well. Um, what did you, you'll never guess what Liam had today? Soup. It doesn't feel like a soupy, soupy kind of day, does it? I, I mean, you were still hungry from your other food that you've eaten, yeah. So, um, Liam's basically on a bit of a health kick at the moment and um, you're not feeling satisfied with it, are you at all, my love? He's constantly hungry. <laughs> Where do you want to go next, my love? Labradorite I'll bring to you now. I've got to let you know that this... Have a little look. <laughs> this... Beautiful elongated pendant, brand new, coming up for you at um, eight. But the reason I'm showing you these is because I'm bringing you a sort of similar shape in a way. Look at this. This has got attitude, this has got personality. These wonderful angular sort of geometric shards of Labradorite. This is just one of them. I have got moments of colour on these. You know me, I'll always be honest. It's not the most electrifying strand I've ever seen. But I think the shape of them and the clarity, you wouldn't necessarily expect that amount of colour anyway. I have got moments of colour though, as I've said. And as you can see, just sort of jettisoning through here. Which makes it even a little bit more magical. But as you see, they've got a real good amount of clarity on them. So that sort of hovering of light that you see, I think almost makes it look even more kind of aura-like. I'll just use my uh, new Torture Truth to show you that clarity. They are just to give you an idea. So usually with um, with a Labradorite, you know, if you want a lot of colour, you're going to look for an opaque stone. These ones have got the clarity to them. Yeah, still with those moments of little um, Labradorescence, which is really nice. This one's kind of got it running down the edge. Can you see that? 
Magical that, isn't it? This has got attitude. This is for those of you who like wearing jewellery that makes a statement, who doesn't mind a little bit of quirkiness, who doesn't mind a little bit of something unusual. $14.95 for you today. That recording's in a daylight simulator, so as you can see, you know, in daylight these can be a little bit more impressive. Of course, it does always depend on your specimen as well. About 48 carats in each one you're looking at here, which is pretty, again, it's full of attitude. These are substantial pieces. They're really going to get you noticed. What would you do with something like this one, Monica? I'm thinking men's jewellery for that one. Because it's, it's kind of, uh, well, it's unisex, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe, maybe on some cord as a pendant. Mm -hmm. Maybe with a macrame. Yeah. Maybe. They've definitely got that opportunity to them. And I will show you uh, the drill hole on these as well. Yeah, probably get a 0 0.6 through there pretty easily, maybe even um, slightly more if I'm honest. But yeah, definitely the opportunity to work with these ones because they are filled with personality and attitude and we are going to give you the opportunity to grab them now. So if you do see anything you like, you know what to do. Jewelrymaker.com if you want to get us that way. You can also call us on the phone line. Are we allowed to talk about tomorrow yet? Should I just do it? On my head be it. Don't, I was just about to start then, and now you put on your head be it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for a minute or two. No, no, I'm gonna do it after the next product. Now they're saying, oh, recorded talkback purposes. Basically, our talkback is recorded. So if managers wanted to blame someone. Now you've just said it's my fault. I'm not falling into that trap. <laughs> Where to, lovely? I will tell you after this product, or when this product's on air. If you want to, it's up to you, Bex. I am going to. I've decided. Why not? It's Friday night. I have got for you 76 carats worth of your Amazonite. And this Amazonite, I have to say, is a really beautiful, strong colour. So if I hold this bit for you here, two things you look for in Amazonite. One is strength of colour. You've got to be honest, that has a lot of strength of colour, doesn't it? And another is a chatoyancy that it takes place under the surface. You see that? Those kind of moments of glitter that take place underneath the surface. Sort of a chatoyancy in a way, not really in others. But what we've got for you here is really good quality. Not all of it is as strong in hue as this naturally anyway. It's 18 pounds and 95 pence only on a good day. Oh, love that. We'll take it under a tenner for you, only because we can. And this is the lovely thing I think about you watching on an evening. You've had a long week, you're ready for the weekend, you sit down, you treat yourself on a Friday night so that you've got some lovely things being delivered for next weekend, don't you? So you can get making. Um, £8.95. Think about what you're up to next weekend. Are you going down the caravan? Have you got a chilled out weekend? Do feel free to treat yourself to goodies that you can you know take along with you I, i'm going camping next weekend so it's a perfect day to uh, grab some goodies so that i could uh, take some minks with me eight pounds and 95 pence so do you know anyone who's never shopped at jewelry maker before are you today maybe tuning in for the first time and you're thinking i don't know what do I buy? What do I get? I don't have a clue. Maybe you've got someone who you've been, uh, you've, you've sort of wanted to get involved so that you can craft together, so you can make together. And, um, you know, they, they haven't yet taken the dive. This weekend is their weekend, specifically tomorrow and Sunday. Is that right? Yeah, tomorrow and Sunday. Tomorrow and Sunday is Get Started With Jewelry Maker Day. Now I know what you're thinking, if you've been with us for ages, you might be thinking, well, it's all just gonna be the basic stuff that I don't need. It's gonna be the essentials, it's gonna be extras, and it's gonna be th new things that you've maybe not seen before. So it's definitely worth tuning in. But if there is anyone who has been planning on getting involved, not only is it going to be a good t uh, sort of time for them to get involved um, when it comes to their creativity, it's going to be very good for their pocket as well. Because Saturday and Sunday, what we're going to do is anyone who buys on Saturday and Sunday for the first time or sets up a new account, maybe, 
with a different bank card. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, says Liam. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But if anyone is brand new who's been thinking about getting into it, not only will they get a free DVD, Get Started DVD, all about how to, you know, start um, um, making incredible things, but also they will get two free genuine gemstone strands, which is always a fabulous thing, and they'll get 10% off their first order as well. So a little, little thing to let all your friends and family know about, or if you have got anyone who maybe, as I say, you know, maybe they're on their, you know, they've just finished college or whatever, and they're on a holiday, and they're thinking before uni, or oh, fancy getting into something a bit different, then this could be a perfect way for you to uh, give them a little text and let them know about it. <laughs> Don't, just new people, obviously. Right, I'm moving on, go on, where? Yes, I will. Let me show you this. This fluorite is absolutely divine. Coming up for you in about five minutes, 32 seconds. The glow you're getting on these fluorite is incredible. All three together, one prize. So if you do want to treat yourself to these, you absolutely can. Uh, but there is only 20 of them ones, sorry. But I've got citrine coming up after it and amethyst as well. That's coming up in about five minutes. How's about something a little bit bargainacious? What about with this kit? See, it was my bracelet. I think those purples match nicely. What would you do with this one, Monica? Well, it's just a, such a useful size, isn't it, the six more? You can use it for anything. You can use it even as spaces between bigger things, or you can use it as a feature on its own. And there's such bright colours there. So it's fabulous. Yeah. It's a really interesting look, isn't it? And uh, I think you can see it sort of with the gold kind of colours in the bracelet. I think that transcends in quite nicely with the sort of bronzy colour, should I mm. say. We are bringing to you £4.95 on this one today. A bargain time to get involved with us. Absolutely 70 carats worth of your varicite you are getting. And if you did want to, um, you know, pair this along with your other varicites, I think it would work really nicely because it's kind of a, uh, quite a, vintage shade of purple if that makes sense if purple is your thing i've got amethyst coming up for you really soon which is a little bit more uh, genteel than usual so if you want something a little bit more spring like maybe than the dark deeper colors you only have to wait a few minutes and we'll bring that to you let me show you because i think chrysocolla when it's in this specific shade works quite nicely with purple i don't know what it is whether it's a slight back palette it's got for you today if you want to treat yourself to this then you absolutely can you have got to grab this whilst you can it's 70 full carrots worth and it is a really luxury kind of texture that you've got on this I think it's really nice oh hello sterling silver wire and you think this will go great with the bundles we've got I agree one mil is it it's very sturdy looking Solid sterling silver. So when we talk about uh, sterling silver, we're talking about 925. We're talking about um, out of every 1,000 parts, 925 of those parts are pure silver. The other parts are there as an ore. It makes it more workable um, in many different guises. This is a wire, which of course you can do your wire writing with, which I think this will be perfect for actually, especially if you sort of hammered out some of the lettering to make it almost look a little bit calligraphy. Because this is a bit sturdier as, as a structural design, it takes to hammering really nicely, because as I'm sure you know, silver, when it is um, hammered, it can actually spread more than most metals, if that makes sense. Um, so it can give you that really ornate kind of handwriting flair if you wanted it to. I am bringing it to you today and we are dropping down this deal. You're getting one full metre for £12.95. So if you fancy grabbing your hands to it, you can. We're looking at oh, nearly eight grams actually of silver, 7.80. 
So there's a big amount you're getting in here. It's going to go really far with your wire writing. Don't forget you can make your own clasps with this, of course, as well. So if you did want to do something a little bit more fantastical, you've got the opportunity to do that with it. So it's a lovely strand for you to be able to get your hands on, especially if you are running low on your sterling silver wire, or just if you want to do your wire writing, because it is perfect for that kind of thing. Of course, don't forget, great for your... Um, Bases as well, if you wanted to do sort of channel setting, maybe this could be quite pretty with that. Uh, people are treating themselves to this from all over, so well done to you. And um, as I said, you know, it's lovely as well um, for your prong setting too. Mm. Do keep dialing through. It is time to bring to you right now a trio of strands. And um, we're actually going to be bringing you a trio of trios, if you will. I'm about to bring to you now fluorite and fluorite is one of those really beautiful gemstones that has been famous for a very long time as I'm sure you know um, one of the main locations it used to be mined in was, was here in the UK it was, it was mined in Derbyshire and to an extent it sort of still is now it's it, it stopped production for a very long time but um, because of rainfall and everything it has sort of started up again but not in a huge commercial way not in a huge uh, in a huge way you can of course go around um, the actual place uh, in in Derbyshire where they uh, still produce this and they have a fantastic tour that you can go on and they also sell some of their pieces of fluorite in different guises. You can get fluorite from different parts of the world though and because the production in the UK stopped prices in particular of the of the uh, Blue John quality escalated massively so you can buy pieces of fluorite literally for three four five grand and you know made into quite all neat um feature pieces what we're going to bring to you is same sort of quality but nowhere near that high price point so we're going to bring it to you now totally natural form same glowing quality of that of your derbyshire same beautiful colors of that of, of your uk uh, but for three strands a little bit more affordable so bye These, these have got really, really good clarity. These have got, through them, hardly any uh, like lack lines or anything else like this. Um, fluorite itself, because of how it forms, basically it has a really low melting point, sort of, hence its name to flow. And because of that, you can see quite a few fracture points usually within it, almost like lines throughout it. But I have to say, this is really sensational quality. Truly it is. It's beautiful. We are bringing to you not just one strand, not just two, but three strands, and they are graduated. So when we do graduation, usually we'll do it like on one strand, won't we? And it'll be a really gentle graduation, maybe over two or three millimeters. With this, not only is the graduation more profound, so you're going from a uh, four mil all the way up to a eight mil, so it's more profound, but also, of course, you're getting more kind of bang for your book, because if I were to put all of these sort of alongside each other, the way, the length that they would add up to would be, you know, um, uh, more than you would get on a usual graduated strand, if that makes sense. So it's not like you're going to get a few 4 mils and then a few 4.5 mils and then a few 4.6 mils. You are getting a whole heap of 4 mils, a whole heap of 6 mils and a whole heap of 8 mils. As I mentioned before, you know, when we talk about the, um, the UK pieces, which are absolutely stunning and um, you know understandably very very high priced um, understandably because as I said production stopped for a long time essentially and and is very slow moving as, as mother nature would be she doesn't just make fluorite overnight does she but when you think of blue john and you think of for example the witch's chamber which is um, sort of a place uh, that, that this is sort of stopped producing you think about a glowing gemstone that transitions between a kind of 
bay leaf green all the way to quite an intense purple in the space of a millimeter or two that glow that transition you've got right here you can see the interaction of the light can't you can you see that you can see that beautiful color as well transitioning through and the fact that you've got the three sizes with that graduation means it's brilliant in many different forms in the sense of if you want to use the tiny ones for your earrings the middle size ones for your bracelets the large size ones for your necklace balance wise it's going to look really beautiful we are going to bring to you now all three strands at one price so if you fancy them get ready to dial because today i'm bringing you 104 carats worth four mil six mil and eight millimeter three set pack you've got here of glowing beautiful natural fluorite and we're going to bring them to you at a sensational deal now already that price point really is incredible and as i said you know the uk version of of fluorite is very renowned very well known and people love fluorite in general because of the glow because of the color the reason that we are able to take this lower partially is due to the location in which we've got it argentina is quite rich in comparison to the uk in fluorite so because they have more quantity they are able to be a little bit more um, sort of what's the word for it they're able to barter more I suppose because they have the higher quantity they're able to take their prices lower per unit and we therefore are able to give you this affordable price because it is a luxurious gemstone and in different parts of the world that price point you might be hard stretched to get at this price point, you'll definitely be hard stretched to get. Ludicrous! 1995. That is now £6.65 per strand for you today on these beautiful, wonderful uh, multicolored fluorides. And they are great quality. As I've said, you know, I was looking into these and obviously they are absolutely and completely eye clean. Usually with fluoride, especially the larger ones, you'll see little marks, little lines running through them. They always look like sort of fraction point at uh, fraction point sorry uh, but you've not got that here so that glow really is unpeded it's got this kind of wave like beauty to it which gives you that glow so intensely it's 19 pounds and 95 pence what do you like about fluorite like this please well there's just so many different colors in there you can separate them out or if you don't separate them out they all go together really well and I was just going to say it's fantastic when you've got the three different sizes because if you're making a necklace it naturally fans out if you use all the three sizes underneath each other. So that really helps with, with uh, making your jewellery. And do you go on a graduation small to large or large to small? I usually have the smallest one at the top. Plus if you're weaving them together then the smaller ones at the top will Arch it. curve upwards. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's going to work absolutely beautifully for you. I will be honest, I started off with 20. I don't have that anymore. So if you do fancy it, do be quick off the mark. I'm going to bring you the happy, happy gemstone now of your citrine. Very pretty. It's a really lovely, happy buttercup kind of colour we've got running through these. Citrine, of course, has loads of connotations to it. It is something which is um, referred to in crystal healing. It's referred to in relation of chakras. It's even got some history in feng shui. Um, it is one of those quite connective uh, gemstones, I would say. You have got this lovely sunshine quality to it. And again, because you've got that wonderful um, sunshine quality, it does feel very, very optimistic. You know all those emojis that everyone uses on the phones? You know the ones I mean? The traditional emojis. I mean, they've gone a little bit wild and wonderful now, but for me, when emojis started, they were basically the yellow smiley face, the yellow winky face, the yellow face with like, yeah, you know, that one. <laughs> Is a good word though. Uh, I'm watching Harry, I'm listening to Harry Potter at the moment and they've got a character called Winky. Winky face with tongue out as well. I don't actually think I can do that. It's quite <laughs> hard that. Have a go, Dan. 
Oh, you've just done it really skillfully. I find it hard to wink anyway. My point is, <laughs> you know those traditional emoji faces? Their faces were that bright yellow because amongst many, many different cultures, yellow is seen as a really happy and optimistic colour, so they knew it would be quite connective, whereas in some cultures, you know, different colours mean different things, whereas yellow quite universally is a, a very positive colour. And that's what I think you've got here. You've got a smile-inducing set of strands, and we're going to match the price for you. So let's bring it into you. Yeah. This is again $6.65 each. They're coming in at $19.95 for these. We're doing you a trio of trios as your star buy. I've got Amethyst coming up next, which will actually go great with this. And that's another lovely thing to remember is the fact that we have got um, same family here. So you can treat yourself to them and then mix and match. So let me just, oh, what about this? Hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, hang on. There you go. What do you think of them? Oh, they look lovely together, I think. Don't you? I can usually make them all roll at once, but I don't know if I can with these ones. I'll have a go. Look at them. Don't they look beautiful? I think it's because of the tone of them both. So when we talk about colour, we talk traditionally about three different areas. Hue, tone, saturation. Um, the tone is usually based on a scale. I do, well, lots of people do it, not just me, on a scale of zero to 100. So 0% tone is basically clear, white, nothing. 100% tone is black. So you can pick any colour on the planet, but if you take it to 0% tone, it will turn white. If you take it to 100% tone, it will be black. The tone of these, I would say, probably sits around the 30% mark. They're not as dark as you might, especially the amethyst. Imagine the amethyst, as you know, it could be such a very, very dark purple. It almost looks kind of garnet-like on occasion. This is a little bit fresher. This is a little bit um, sort of brighter, I would say. This is a little bit lighter in its tone. So I think it goes great with the citrine. We are bringing them to you today at just £19.95. And, and yes, it is for all three. I'll show you with the first uh, Monica design as well. This is uh, one of the makes, one of the many makes actually, from Monica's first kit. The necklace of which I'm wearing, the bracelet of which I'm wearing, but those are not all that is in the kit. I think that goes so nicely alongside the purples in here. Yeah. Maybe you could add them on as like little charms or something. See where you've got the uh, sort of connector gem, the connector seed bead. You could have maybe a few from there, couldn't you? £19.95 and if purple is your thing. Woo! Well done. That is the end of my trio of trios. So pick the ones you like, pop them all together and uh, have fun making with them because I think they are really, really lovely. Do you know what I will show just because I'd want to know? Drill hole. It's an alright size drill hole on the large ones. See that? There you go. It's pretty decent that. I should show you on the medium as well. What's it like on the medium? Actually, pretty much the same on the medium. So it's good for workability, isn't it? There you are. And on the small ones, it's obviously going to be smaller because they are smaller. But still not impossibly small. Sounds quite handy, isn't it? Well done all um, on getting those ones. Oh, oh, I do not know my left. This one, yes. <laughs> Got another tea bar here. Oh my gosh, I love this strand. If I've done this strand before, I've definitely done one, but I think the ones I did were bigger. This is such a cool strand. So, what I'm bringing to you here is not a multi barrel, it is green barrel, proper morganite proper aquamarine and then amazonite and kunzite that go together because what they look like is just profound it really is then they look divine it's the strength of the color so as you can see i've got some morganite on here and remember it's not pink um beryl so when we describe multi-beryl strands it's because not all of, or maybe none of, the beryl have come out back with a specific tone that they need to be given the proper name. 
Um, I've also got real Kunzite in here, real Amazonite, genuine aquamarine as well, which is giving you a real nice baby blue, very pretty. Um, and yes, your green barrel as well. So your green barrel, if your barrel is dark enough or, or tonally fine enough, then um, it will be classified as emerald. This is possibly come back a little bit too light, but same family. I'm bringing to you 100 carats worth. 14 pounds and 95 pence for all of those very very big well-known and established names um, you know if you wanted to use maybe a section on one of those slider bracelets you'd be able to get one section one bracelet two bracelets three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven bracelets it's kind of amazing when you think of that so one pound 36 per bracelet and I'm not talking for a, you know one gemstone I'm talking about big chunks of these gemstones. I think they look lovely. Um, what would you do with these colours, Monica? I'm thinking bridesmaid jewellery. Bridesmaids. Mm. Well, uh, I think if you, if, you, if you can't decide what colour to make your bridesmaids, <laughs> you can put them all together, can't you? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, put them all in. Yeah. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. You have got fourteen ninety five across the board on these ones, so enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. There's more and more people now who are actually having bridesmaids in different colours as well. Yeah. I've I've noticed in like shades of, of mm. a certain colour or whatever. Anyway, well done. I'm going to move on to sorry on the tea bar. If you like the druzy before, but you want something a little with a bit more oomph, a little bit more industrial maybe, then this is the one for you. What does this bring to mind? Well, it just looks like bits of gold that you pick out of the ground, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Looks like a, looks like yeah. a treasure. <laughs> yeah, total treasure. You have got here this beautiful quality and colour, and I'm not surprised that you say, you know, it does look like gold. Of course, this is fool's gold, Pyrite's other well-known name. What we've done with this is we've added a little bit of that coating um, that little coating to give it this really mystic look. It makes it look very industrial, it makes it look quite futuristic. It doesn't look, uh, oh, six pounds and 95 pence, that's amazing. It's a really good price. And because you've got so many colors in here, it's gonna go with everything, isn't it? Go with absolutely everything you can take your mind to, I think. That's beautiful. So that is on your screen right now. You can put them in stretchy bracelets. Again, a really big size drill hole on these ones. I quite like the idea of doing these in um, kind of quite sort of futurist, uh, futuristic designs um, and styles. For example, in like a fascinator with loads of really on show wire maybe, possibly even some because of the colors. Um, peacock feathers or something like that you know quite an unusual uh, set of feathers i think could just make this a little bit extra edgy well done 6.95 not many of these ones left at all apparently good work shall i bring you an emerald now how much is this going to be that is a lot of gemstone oh my gosh let me pick a small one this is one of the pretty small ones. It's about an inch into the strand, and this is a graduated strand. So if you've not seen these before, it starts off a bit smaller, then gets larger, then goes a bit smaller again, generally on a graduated strand. Just that as a ring, and that's a beautiful size. But look how big these go. That one! It's not even the biggest. Get to the middle. Look at that one! Gosh, these are seriously substantial pieces that you've got here. Big variation in size means big amount of possibilities. So if I show you that, uh, sometimes our graduation might just be a millimetre difference. Um, sometimes, as in the way of these, it is dramatically different. So we're going from around a 6 mil coin to around a 12 mil coin. So we're looking around double the size. That means you've got real versatility. Again, as we aforementioned with the trio of trios that we did. Um, this type of look could very easily just be restranded and a class could be adorning the back, especially the rose gold class we did earlier on, actually. I always think rose gold and uh, everyone's look quite rich together but yeah pop this on your neckline design you're looking ours says 38 centimeters but remember that is generally an average minimum i have got here that right there is 38 centimeters on my ruler right here 
So I've got 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43 centimetres worth I've got on this. So actually that's like a, what, nearly 17 inch necklace, isn't it? It's pretty huge. Uh, 19.95 for you today for a serious amount of carrot weight. And remember, this is an entirely natural strand, which the vast majority of emeralds you can get out there on the market isn't. Um, I also think this would go pretty well. What do you think of them together? I just think that adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi. Yeah, you could use them in place of the candy beads in the necklace. Lovely idea. Yeah. That's a really good idea. I am so excited to dive on in to uh, the creative corner with a lovely Monica um, so that we can see how to enjoy this and wear and work with uh, these beautiful elements that Monica is as just so, so nicely put together. And you can really see the thought and the love that have gone into this design, can't you? It is stunning. And we are gonna be bringing you this kit very, very soon indeed. So do feel free to get dialing in if you so wish, 60777. If you wanna send any questions into Monica, don't forget, you absolutely can. Uh, well done uh, again, multi-buyers in on that one. Let me show you too, if you like these types of gemstones, what do you think? Ah! They are so beautiful together, aren't they? Eight o'clock, brand new. This is very, very, very special. They feel beautiful, they really do, they feel so nice. Well done. Uh, I've got, I have, I've got these huge, they are monstrous. Um, yeah, really dramatic. I quite like strands like this because when you see uh, the sort of term autumn jasper, you do think of the usual stone that has, you know, the sort of browns and the dark creams in it. But what we've done with this is we've added a little bit of colour to it to give it a little extra zing. Um, so you get almost this bird's eye view of the planet. See what I mean? Different ones have totally different personalities. And even different sides have different personalities. So if you did want to, you know, do a reversible pieces with this, or maybe just have it on a really long length necklace, maybe even a lariat style would be kind of cool with this. Um, really long length necklace and have these so that they move and rotate so that you can really see their different personalities. I think there's gonna be a little bit of something for everyone in these strands. These ones are around about three and a half centimetres worth in drop, so they're very dramatic indeed. And we're bringing them to you for 14. Mm -hmm. 14 pounds and 95 pence only. Just one of them, Liam's saying, would look great. And you're completely right, I, I do agree with you. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. 11 of these ones for you today. So if you do fancy graphing it, absolutely do so now because it really is a very unique and individual strand that would look great with your leathers, great with your woods if you've got any of them actually. Um, so £14.95 is your chance to grab them. I'm going to bring in a quick little treat. Oh my gosh, I love these! Oh, I have not seen these. Oh, listen. Oh, wait, where's my mic? That's fine. You hear that? Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Name that, Phil. No one? Monica? 10 points to Chris. It's a wonderful life, absolutely. I am bringing to you your wonderful bell um, design, which is so lovely in jewellery because we do think, I think of Christmas because maybe of that film, but of, of other things. But remember, we think of bells maybe to do with christenings. I always think of bells at the back of wedding um, cars, you know, um, and that's often a symbol, isn't it? Two of them together. I think in these are so precious looking, especially with that wonderful sort of tendril like growing on the side. That is such a good price. Uh, for those lovely sort of tendrils that you have in each of the sections making up the actual bell itself, I think they're beautiful. If you wanted to as well, remember these are yours, nothing gonna stop you taking out the, what are we calling that on the inside? No, that's not the inside though, is it? What's that bit? I know, yeah, but I don't <laughs> wanna call it that. 
I'm not calling it that because it sounds <laughs> filthy. I'm not calling it that. The, I can't call it that either. I was thinking of another word, but that sounds a bit. Anyway, you know this bit in the middle, yeah? You could take that out and just use it as an end cap if you wanted. <laughs> Nothing stopping you doing that. So you could use that as the top of a tassel, or you could use it as um, like cord ends, you know what I mean, for your, for your kumihima. It's up to you. Well done. Let's move on to... Aha! Uh -huh. Solid sterling silver. <gasps> Cat lovers? Cat lovers, anyone? Have a little look. This, hang on, stay still, hang on. Look at that. What do you think of that? Isn't that so beautiful? Can you see how this is made up? So the very high shine section, that is the cat. And then you can see it's playing with like a, a ball of wool that spins around. These two things here are your jump rings. Now what we do, so, oh sorry, so what we do so that it's um, secure for uh, delivery is we really tightly close that section up and the tail. But when you get this home, all you do is very slightly, and it's silver so it's easy to do, prise that open a little bit so that you can take your jump ring off and that then becomes, you know, the clasp, if that makes sense. Um, and you can, it, it's great for left-handed people and right-handed people because you can open either side if you so wish. 6,095 pence. Haven't you got any cat lovers in your family, in your friendship group? Maybe you're like me and you're um, gonna be adopting someone's cat very, very soon. Um, Yes, I am. Her name's going to be... Oh, her name is Sophie. I was, is going to be. Like, I'm changing her, her cat's name. I'm not. That'd be a bit odd. Uh, but, yes, it is, you know, a lovely, lovely design and a really wonderful kind of creature um, that I think a lot of people see as a, as a you know, good look um, charm, isn't it? Cats, very much so. So, if you do fancy grabbing it, do feel free. Six pounds and ninety-five pence is your deal, and you are going to be getting a big amount of metal in there, as you can see. Okay, let me dive into some more sterling silver, but this time with rose gold over the top. I love these designs. Let me hold it that way for you. So, if I say to you, what colour is this metal? It's rose gold, isn't it? It's rose gold. So it's lovely rose gold. The stamen of this is gold. But as I turn it, do you see how the actual rose gold almost becomes like an undescribable colour? Because it's so highly reflecting the gold. It's easier to see in real life. It really is a beautiful effect. I'm not just bringing you one, I am bringing you three, and these ones have got a flat aperture at the top and one on the, uh, on the, uh, on the different profile. So if you want to just strand it on to a chain and then have something dangling from it, it's easy, easy done. And also remember, you know, if you did want to use these for earrings, it's easy again for a shepherd hook and then add a gemstone just because of the way they sit. So really easy to work with. 7,095 pence for three. Now, don't you go anywhere after the break, the kit that makes this. Hi, guest designer Alison Tarry here. Just want to tell you about an amazing show we've got coming up on Sunday morning. It's all about starting off with seed beading. So whether you're new to jewellery making, whether you're just new to seed beading and you want to try a new medium, join us. We've got, look, I've got even more goodies I've just picked up. Loads and loads of um, examples for you, loads of, loads of techniques for you. Join us Sunday morning, myself and Vicky Carr. Can't wait.
Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Thank you so much for joining me. And of course, a big hi there. Hello to Monica. Hello. Hi, Monica. How are you? Good, good. I'm good. Exactly. What have you been up to? Well, beading, of course. <laughs> and you have made oodles. Tell us a little bit about this kit. It does go a long way, doesn't it? And I haven't even used everything. There's, there's another set of dagger beads, which I haven't even used. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's loads in this kit. What did you like about it when you first opened the pack? What jumped out at you first and why? Well, I really like the colours, for one thing. Uh, they just go together so well. But also, uh, these new shaped beads with the, with the two holes, especially in the, in the daggers as well. They're just so exciting to work with, aren't they? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. For you, you know, with this kind of look, well, which piece did you make first? Um, I made the earrings first, because I like to make a set of earrings first, just to see how it goes and where it takes Quite me. Quite a few designers say that, actually. Yeah. That's interesting that you do the same. Plus, it makes you feel like you, you've accomplished something in the first few minutes, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. So it kind of takes the pressure off a bit. Yeah. That's a good way of thinking of it. Um, we are bringing to you something really special today. So just from a designer's point of view, tell me the thing that, as a designer, you love about the dagger beads, first off. Well, they're just so, so different, aren't they? They, they? You don't see that sort of shape very often. Um, and it's just a pleasing shape to look at, I think. Mm. And then, of course, the ones with the, these ones with the design on them, they're just really interesting. The design that you're seeing on these dagger beads is peacock design, as you uh, will be able to see when you look at the, um, them. You have... Um, for example, in the large necklace that I was wearing, you have the sort of bronze background with the really lovely, almost olive green um, peacock design on the front of them. It's kind of the peacock um, tail, the peacock eye. Um, but then also within this, which you can see a, a brief amount of in the earrings, you're getting the... It's almost a, a metallic bronze with a really lovely uh, sort of mattified black detail. Do you mind turning those a little bit just so we can... Yeah. yeah. That's it, so you can see the design. Look, do you see the uh, different ones that you're getting? They're beautiful, aren't they? So as you said, they really do fit perfectly together. Yeah, they do. They do. Um, so you've got in here, and I'm just letting you know everything you're getting before we bring those graphics in because I am so, so aware that this is going to be popular. So as well as the two sets of daggers, I'm also going to be bringing you these double drilled that are flat on the base and domed on the top. Why were these good to work with? Well, the two holes really make it um, versatile, really, because there's so many things you can do with beads that have got two holes in them. Mm. Mm. So you've got your Preciosa um, designs here, we all of course know the Preciosa name, and you've got the two drill holes which run through, which you can see sort of parallel uh, through here, which obviously has helped in these designs, not only in security but also in, in its design. They are both 8 mils in these two colours, I'll just let you have a closer look at that one. <laughs> Thanks. Um, so you're getting a lovely copper colour, which is really nice, sort of vintage hue. And you're also getting the alabaster Vega, Vega yeah, yeah. design um, that you're getting. 25 of each of them you're going to be getting. I'm also adding to the situation seed beads, which just tie it all in. It's like the missing link of what you needed here. So I'm going to be bringing you the light bronze in the 11 O's. And then I've got your metallic khaki coming up for you in the 8 and that's 22 gram tube. As well as that, I'm bringing you the Fireline. Fireline in the 8 pounds. Obviously, there's been a fair old and while standing with this, especially in kind of the boob design where you've had to go through yeah. things a couple of times. So it's always worthwhile having it. So, all of this I'm bringing to you. One item, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total. I'm going to give you a one minute clock on this so that everyone has a fair chance. The one minute clock starts now. And the reason we're doing this is because I do not have hundreds and hundreds of these in quantity. In fact, I've got less than a hundred, I'm afraid to say. Um, we have got for you today the opportunity to get something different, to get something individual. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know you've had seed beads uh, lately for International Beading Week. And although we finished International Beading Week, obviously it is um, it started on Saturday. Um, so we are just giving you a few little extra bits and bobs. And they're not your everyday standard seed beads 
are they? Over the Seedby week, I personally didn't see the Preciosa, and personally, I didn't see uh, the Dacas either. So it's lovely that we've been able to sort of pair them up and get them here and ready and raring for you um, so that you can work with them. And of course, we're going to have a free demonstration. I hope you dial in if you fancy grabbing them on the phone just because, um, you know, obviously you have to dial through. So you'll be at the front of the queue if you are already dialing. So well done to you all. Five seconds till the graphics come on. That means you are able to buy these in about two, one. Graphics are coming live. So now you can buy these wonderful, wonderful products all as part of this kit. If you've not seen one of our kits before, they're always really popular at Jewelry Maker because we have a team, we have numbers of teams who work behind the scenes to create the kits. It's not only the kit team, it's the buying team as well, and the guest designer and um, kind of the inspiration team who have to work together to create palettes, see trends, etc., and kind of work things in together. A lot of work goes into this in the uh, behind the scenes. Obviously, we give it to our guest designer. They then put a lot of work and effort into it. And then we bring it to air and we chop our price down. It's just something we do. It's something that we're known for, so we're not going to let you down today. Your Metallic Haze collection, I'm going to get your price in so it's fair for all. Straight in on this one, no messing. Less than 100 of these ones available. You ready for this? We are bringing to you a drop down deal right here, right now, of just £29.95, which for everything you're getting, I think is pretty incredible. It's working out about £4.72 per item, which you wouldn't be able to get, you know, the Fireline for, the Preciosas themselves for, your Dagger Beads, you wouldn't be able to get for that. In fact, none of it. <laughs> so it's a really good drop down deal. Maybe the Seed Beads if they were on discount, but it's hard to say, isn't it? You can never really tell. So um, a brilliant opportunity for you. Well done to all of you who are coming in. Um, I will keep you up to date with quantity as it ticks down. As you may or may not know, we have a uh, slight sort of 12-ish um, sort of seconds delay between what we say and what you hear so it usually takes a little bit of time but i will let you know even at this point i've just been told about 20 percent of my stock has gone so if you do see anything you like absolutely come on in and grab this who do you think this kit is for please well it depends on what you're making but i think beginners and um more advanced beaters can use the kits because it's just so versatile. I mean, you don't have to use everything together. Obviously, I've used everything together in most of the designs, but you don't necessarily have to. You know, you can swap things out with it. It's, it's really versatile. Mm. And you can see just how beautiful these pieces that Monica has made. They are absolutely beautiful. This is a very popular kit. Well done, West Midlands, London. Well done, Nor uh, Northamptonshire. Well done, Greater London. Well done, Greater Manchester. Well done, Lancashire, Cheshire. You're in as well. West Midlands, another one. Well done to you. Surrey, you've just got, got yours as well. Plenty of you coming in on this one. $29.95 is your deal on it. And um, I will just let you know this is the only colourway of it. We don't have these beads in... in we don't have an alternate colourway to this. So if vintage, kind of chic elegance is your thing, then this is definitely the one for you to get your hands on. As I said, we are going to be doing a demo, and we're going to be demoing that beautiful bracelet design um, that I was wearing. So if you do fancy getting your hands on it and feeling inspired, then this is definitely the time to get involved. £29.95. pence. It's all just so beautiful. Um, you know, how obviously a lot of work has gone into these how long did say the pendant one take you the pendant because that's um, a really big statement design isn't it it didn't take terribly long because you've got the larger size beads there as well yeah. it's, it's quicker than if you were just using the seed beads yeah that's a good point so the pendant took maybe a couple of hours mm. and obviously it's slower because i'm thinking of what you're coming up to with do with it yeah of course and this again is the lovely thing about our guest designers you know sort of testing out these different ways of using it so do feel free to grab it now and remember if you want to message any uh, questions to monica or basically just tell her how fabulous her jewelry is <laughs> 60777 or um get us on jewelrymaker.com as well okay should we dive on into some makes okay let's do it right so i thought i'd show you how to make the bracelet um so it kind of came about as an accident really i was planning to make something else but uh this is how it ended up so <laughs> that's usually how it goes isn't it so you need a piece of your fire line uh, and i've put a stopper bead on the end of it which is just a, a bead that you go through twice to stop your beads from falling off the end okay then you're going to start with, this is what we were aiming for in, initially. Am I in the right place? Yep. Yeah. So that's your first 
set of bees that you're going to be doing. So you start by putting on one of your candy beads. Now, you just have to make sure that when you're going through your candy beads, you have them all facing the, the same way up because, uh, as Becky said earlier, they're flat on the back and they're rounded up on the, uh, on the one side. So you can use the back of them, they're still pretty, but as long as you have them all the same way up, it, it really helps. So you go through your candy bead first. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to do the beads that go around your candy bead, so these beads here, okay? So you put on two of your 11 O's, one of your 8 O's, another two 11 O's, and then you go through the same hole again that you've just gone through. You go through that again, put it tight, okay? You've got your little beads on the edge of your candy bead, okay? Then you're going to do the beads that come between your two candy beads. So then you're going to add on three 11 O's, an 8 O, and then three 11 O's again. Then you're going to go through your next candy bead. It helps if you put them out uh, like this because then you can be sure that you're always going through the same side of your bead so that they're all facing up. Okay, there you go. All right. Then you're going to add the edge beads again to the next candy bead. So you've got two 11 O's, an 8 O, and two 11 O's again. Okay. And then you're going to go through the same hole again, just the candy bead, not any of the other seed beads. Okay. Pull it tight. Make sure your tail doesn't get caught. Pull everything down to the end. And then you've got your next beads. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do it one more time quickly, so then it's another three, three of your 11 O's, 8 O, and your three 11 O's. Put on one more candy bead. There you go. Okay, don't forget to go around the edge of your candy bead again. So two of those, one of those, two of the 11 O's, and back through the same hole again. Okay, now just pretend I've made the whole length of the bracelet because you carry on like this until you get to whatever length you want your bracelet to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you're going to add the same thing on again. You're going to add three 11 O's and an 8 O. And then I like to add on a, a crimp bead. Um, I've used an antique bronze here, but you could use ro rose gold. It looks really nice. We had some rose gold findings. Uh, but you could use silver or gold as well, whatever you like. Okay, then you skip over the, um, the crimp bead and you go back through the, the 8 O bead that you put on the end here. Okay, and then when you pull it tight, all right, and you've got your crimp bead on the end, through which you can put a jump ring, and then you just attach your clasp to the end. Okay, so that makes it really easy to attach a clasp. Okay, and I don't worry about that you're only going through it once at the moment, because you're going to be going back and forth a few times, so you'll go through it a few more times afterwards. Okay, then you just add on your three 11 O's, and I'm just going to turn it around to make it easier. Then you go through the other hole in your candy bead, okay, then you put on your edge beads again, so two of those, one of those, two of those, go through the same hole of the candy bead again, okay, that brings you to your edge. Okay, now, for this one, what you're going to do is you're just going to add on the 11 O's, because you've already got the 8 O there, which you're going to share between them. Uh -huh. So you go through the existing 8 O. Okay. All right, then you add on the other three 11 O's. And then you go through the candy bead again. Okay, and you carry on like that. Don't forget to do the beads that are around your candy bead. Okay, until you get full length of your bracelet like this. Now, once you've got back to the other side, all I just like to do is just tie, tie this thread that you're working with together with the, um, with the tail end. Tie it into a knot that keeps it nice and secure and it's an easy way to finish it off. Okay, so next step. Once you've got your full length of your bracelet, then you have your two crimps on either end to which you can attach your clasp and your ring uh, or whatever you like to to finish it off with. Okay, now, now we're aiming for this, okay, so 
Okay. So now what I did is I went around and I tied, it, tied your working thread to your tail thread and then I went around through the beads that were the edge of the candy beads again to come out after the second 11-0, after your 8 -0. So this is the bead, these are the beads that were around your candy bead. So I've come out those same beads again. Okay, and then I'm going to add on um, five of your, my 11 0s. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then an 8 0, then another five 11 0s. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to go into those beads again, those five which were the edge of your candy bead. Mm. So I'm going to go through all five of those. You can do it in two goes if you can't get it all through at once. Okay. Then the next two. Okay. And then you do the same again. So it's five 11 O's. I'll just do one more. One, two, three, four, five. Then eight O. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then don't forget that you're not just going through the eight O, you're going through all five beads here okay. that went around your candy bead. Okay, like so. And the other two as well. Okay. So you just carry on like that until your full bracelet has been done on both sides. So when you get to the end, you go through your crimp again, come back the other side and do the same thing all the way along. Okay. okay. Until you end up with something like this. Now, um, as you can see, it's, it's not sitting flat because you've got a few too many beads here on the side. Okay. So it's not sitting nicely, but there's a reason for that. <laughs> so this is what we're looking for now to make it a bit more 3D. So we want to bring these two sort of little wings up and together. Okay. So I've come through until I've got, until I've come, sorry, this way. No, this way. I'm coming through the eight toe that's in the middle from the first first set of beads that I, I stitched on, okay. Then I'm going to add on an 11-0, then I'm going to go back in the other direction through the 8 that is in the little, almost like a little wing that you've got here, okay. I won't pull it tight so you can kind of see how it goes, like that. And then another 11-0, okay. Then I'm going back through the original 8 in the middle again, okay. Now these two beads are just going to give it a little bit of a of height, so it's a bit more 3D. Okay, and then when you pull it tight, the little wing closes into the middle. Okay, now you need to do the same thing on the other side as well. So add on an 11 0 again, through the 8 0 again. Oh. Through the 8 0, just the 8 0 this time. Okay, then add on. Another 11 0, and then back through this 8 0 at the bottom here. So, not, not the other one. Ori originally, we're just going to go through this one here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you put your little two extra 11 0s in position there. Okay, now I'm going to have to lift it up here because you're going to go back up through this 11 0 that you've just added in the middle, okay, and through the 8 0 because now what you need to do, you need to just pull it tight. Okay, there's got a bit of a tangle. Just pull it tight. So your two eighters are now in the middle, but they're still kind of a bit wiggly and a bit loose. So then I just go into the opposite eight-o and back through this eight-o again, just to tie the two eight-o's together to each other. Okay. Just pull it tight, then through the other eight-o again. Okay and then you've brought them together. Now it all looks a bit of a mess at the moment, but this one's already done, so I've now done the second one. Once you've get, gotten them all done, then these ones, you can just pull them out a little bit to make it a little bit more of a nice shape. Okay, when you're finished, it's all gonna sit nicely. Okay, then you're gonna do the same thing to this one as well. Okay, so you need to go through all the beads on this line here. Sorry, not this one, yes, this line here, this row. Just keep going because you need to get across to this 8 here. Okay, so the next 8 in the row. 
So you go through all the beads in this row until you get through. You can jump across to the 11 O's. Okay, keep going through until you get to the next 8 O. Okay, then you're going to do the same thing again that I've just done here. Okay, so I'm not going to do it again because I've already shown how to do that. What I'm going to show you is the next step. So I'm just going to work my way around. Just pretend I've done these ones. Okay, because for the next step, you need to be coming out of these eight O's, which are on the side of your candy beads. Okay, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit and come back around this way. You will have gone all the way to the end, okay, and then go through the crimp bead and then come back again until you get to the correct 8O. So keep going until you get to the 8O, which is next to your first candy bead when you're coming from the end of the bracelet. Okay? Now here, we're going to add on, um, I'll show you what I'm adding on, I'll just show you the bracelet here quickly, what we're working on now. So now we need to add these beads here in the corner because you've got this middle section here with the middle beads coming together. We need to add on these little beads here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the easiest way to do that is to turn it over and work from the back. So that's what you've got on the back at the moment. Okay. Okay. So if I put this next to it, you're going to add on um, seven 11 O's. Okay. So just 11 O's this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eleven O's, and jump across to the next eight O here. Okay, this, this step is quite simple. So you just do that all the way along. Okay, seven, is seven, right? Sorry, I skipped through. <laughs> you're not just going through the eight O's. You're going through this all the five beads again. I'm just going to jump back quickly here. So you need to go through the five beads again, not just the eight toes, same as you did before. You're going through the same five beads okay. that you did. There's so many steps to this one, I've forgotten <laughs> how I did it. <laughs> so go through all five beads. Oh, now I can't, get, can't find the hole. There, there we go. Okay. Through there, okay, and you're adding on uh, seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then go through the f all five beads again. So the next five, okay. That's just the last one as well, okay. Am I going through the right beads? Should I bring the bundle whilst you're... I'll bring a bundle just so you can go back and whatever. Cause right, it's stressful when you're like... Well, it's like with anything, isn't it? It's like, I can't, I've got to remember this. I did this, you know, a couple of weeks ago or whatever. Let me bring to you... Which one did you say, love? No problem. Just to let you know that kit has been really popular. Probably only got about, what, 60 left? Less than that. Sorry, Liam's just gone 60. Less than that, love. Sorry. I said about less than 20. Less than 20 left on that. 60. <laughs> you know, when someone says the t the, the, with the tone of you and naughty, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I am bringing to you your white football style agate. Football style. It's coming home. It's coming home. Football. Ten and eight mils you're getting here. I don't know, that was me trying to be footbally. I've never really been a follower of football, to be honest. I quite like their outfits sometimes. <laughs> eight pounds 
So 95 pence for you today. That's 350 carats worth in total. And I will just say what I quite like about them is obviously the football style is based on the patination, isn't it? I personally feel like it's a bit more animal print. Um, but the facets kind of work under the surface too, don't they? Which is quite cool. £8.95. I've got a sneaky, sneaky star by coming up under my hat very very soon uh, very soon very soon uh, but yeah it's going to be coming up for you but I'm not uh, allowed to let you know what it is yet £8.95 cheaper than a vindaloo that's another football song isn't it remember that one <laughs> Oh, it works on a lot of levels. 8 95 grab it whilst you can. Happy Monica? Yep. yep. Let's dive back on in. Okay, I've worked it out now. <laughs> cool. So, uh, I've worked back now so that you've just finished stitching all these together. So they're all closing in. You've come round the end and you would start at this one, but um, halfway up. So I'm going to just show you from this one here. So you come out, you need to be coming out of the second 11 0 after the 8 0 that is the side of the um, on the side of the candy bead. Okay, so these are the five beads here that you added to the side of the candy bead, right? Okay. So you need to be coming out of the fifth one from there. Then you're going to need to add nine 11 O's, not seven, like I said earlier. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, then you go through the five beads again on the next candy bead, which were on the side of the candy bead. Okay. Oh, that's, that's better. Okay, make sure you go through all five. Okay. All right. There you go. Then you add on nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is how you would go through. You go through the five again on the next candy bead. You go along your whole bracelet like this, come around to the other side, through your print bead again, and go all the way up the other side as well. Okay? So now you've got this little lacy bit on the edge here. Mm -hmm. Now what you, just want to, what you just need to do is to make it pointy. As you can see, I've got one, the middle bead is kind of jumping out there. So again, you would go all the way around, come back to the other side, and then you would be coming out of... Um, these beads here. So go around until you get to your first loop. I'm just going to turn around here so I don't have to go all the way around again. Okay, so what you do is you go, you come out of, you go through the beads that you've just added, so this lacy bit on the end. You go through the first four beads of the nine that you added. Okay. Then you miss one, middle one, and you go through the other four. So you're skipping over the middle one. Okay. Then when you pull it tight, just make sure the thread goes under that middle bead. Can you see that middle bead kind of jumps out and creates yeah. a point there? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll show you again on the next one quickly. So then you go through the same beads again, the same five again on the side of the candy bead. Okay. I'll just quickly show you how to do this. One more. Okay. You do the same again. So you go through the first four, jump over one bead, go through the next four, and you pull it tight and your little bead jumps out again. And that's basically all it is. Oh, perfect. And obviously you do the other side as well. I think that is such a fab design. <laughs> and as you saw when I'm wearing it, it's really 3D as well, which is always quite nice, I think. Yep. Thank you so much, Monica, for showing us that. <laughs> Remember, if you want to treat yourself to not only this bracelet, but, you know, the pairs of earrings, the beautiful big pendant, and that huge design that I was wearing, you may well notice I've switched designs now. Oh. Very <laughs> Mariah. Um, then you need to treat yourself to this kit. It is your ma metallic haze collection. And as you can see in the designs, you are going to be getting two sets of your dagger beads. You're going to be getting the preciosas as well, flattened on one side, domed on the top, two drill holes running through there. I've also got two of your large tubes of your seed beads and your £8 fire line, all for £29.95. Um, maybe you just want the dark beads by themselves. I might be able to uh, help you out. Now. No, in a minute, in a bit, maybe never, <laughs> probably in a minute. Let me show you these first though. These ones are your beautiful white freshwater cultured pearl top drilled ovals. 
These I think are really, really cool. And I think it tells you a lot about how pearls are created. I often talk about the nuclei of pearl, what is inserted within the pearl. And, um, you know, traditionally, in uh, sort of hand dived or ocean pearls, if you will, um, it will be a grain of sand um, that uh, you know starts the process. But obviously, that is not a practice that really takes place anymore, as it is detrimental to the environment. It can upset marine life and, of course, destroy coral. So we we now cultivate them, and when we cultivate them, we can put in different shapes and different size uh, nucleuses. With these ones, we'll put an oval nucleus on, which then will have built up the nacre on top, making these really unusual shapes. We've tr drilled through the top of them. You can see Mother Nature doesn't want to stick perfectly to make these ovals, so they all have a little bit of personality. You've got some that almost appear um, to be teardrops. You've got some in here which look a little bit more eyelet, if you will. You've got some in here that... Um, I did have a fish. Where have you gone? There's quite a nice little one. I think it was over here. Here he is, look. <laughs> Bobbing along. Uh, but yeah, you've got one with lovely personality. And the great thing is, as you can perfectly see, look at every single one very high in lustre, which means that it splits the light that hits it beautifully. So great quality there. I've got loads to fit in in this hour, so I'm going to quick sharply sprint through a few things, if that's okay with you. Yes. Ooh, nuggets. Nuggets. <gasps> Liam. Oh, you're not with me tomorrow night, are you? Is it tomorrow night that we're launching the DVD that has these, or is it the Wednesday after? What do you reckon? Is it the 8th? You think it might be tomorrow? I can't remember. It's either tomorrow or the 8th. So we've got Laura Binding on tomorrow night on the late and it's her DVD I'm thinking of but I think she's also with us on the 8th. Oh I can't remember. <laughs> anyway I am bringing, it might be the 8th then, it's probably the 8th. I am bringing to you your golden rutile quartz and as you can see this has got a whole load of gold running through it. Um, we have got for you, look at that a serious amount of gold taking place underneath the surface, sometimes referred to as Venus hair. These ones haven't just got gold in them though, they appear. There is also your black rutile in here, again, sort of tourmalation, if you will, running through some of these. Um, so yeah, there's some of your kind of tourmalated look um, quartz, there's some that is Venus hair, very much so. Real big amount of texture on these ones, really quite interesting to work with. And we're bringing it to you for just £2.95. It is entirely natural, this is as Mother Nature intended, and uh, you're getting that 86-ish centimetre strand today mm. for just two pounds and 95 pence. Silly price. Silly price. Uh, another bundle I've got for you now. Oh, I think you're going to like these ones if you like, oh, wait up, if you like the sort of mattified uh, druzy that we've been doing of late. I did big druzy drops with you before if you're into the sort of magical world of that. I'm bringing these ones to you now. Wow. Very unisex, very bold. What do you think? That's a lot of beads and some good. <laughs> Is that a good thing? That's a very good thing. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of carrots, isn't it? We're looking at around about 520 carats in each strand. Yeah. 1,560 carats worth in total. Now that price on screen, I think it is already way better than I would expect. 6.95, I would never imagine, because bear in mind these are 14 mil. You know, they're absolutely right. ginormous. 14 mil in size, but the actual length of strands sort of 36 uh, you know, uh, 38, sorry, centimetres, 40 centimetres. The price we're going to, <sighs> wow. Wow. So now it's like, so now it's kind of like you buy one and a bit and you get the others two free almost, isn't it? That's incredible. So they're working out three pounds, what you say, my love? £3.98 now per one, not six ninety-five. So that to me is a fantastic yeah. price point you're getting your hands on there because there's a lot of, of carrot weight in this and also yeah. a lot of personality, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, you can just use one in the middle of a, a bracelet or something. You know, you know, I would set it somehow so that 
it's fixed, so with maybe with some wire, so you can see the so you the can see the druzy moments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, if you're looking at this and you're going, I do like it, but I wouldn't be afraid to jazz it up a little bit. Well, how's about we get jazzy with um, the next kit? Even just one. Mm. On the bottom of something like that. Yeah. This is um, a beautiful design. I wouldn't say it was the focal one. Mm. There's some slightly more elaborate necklaces, but this is the one that went perfectly with my neckline. You are going to be, if you love colour, if you're a really optimistic and a happy person and love a bit of uh, colour, then you can't not adore this kit. It's beautiful. And what uh, Monica's done with it is just fab. How's how oh, wow. I bring <laughs> to you a pop of colour. Yeah. This is seriously summer. He's not joking when he says pink. <laughs> yeah. This is rave pink. This is early 80s pink. This is hot pink. This is totally bright, exciting pink. This is the type of pink that if it were sweet, you wouldn't give it to your child because you know they would be hyper for hours after. It's energetic, <laughs> it's fun, it's an absolute bargain at £6.70. And in all honesty, the great thing about, you know, having that intensity of colour, and don't get me wrong, it's not for everyone, but the great thing about having that intensity of colour is you just need one and even then it's going to be a focal. Mm. Even then people are going to be looking at this. It's going to go great with some of your seed bead colours, mm. of course, because you definitely do have some seed bead hues that work with this. Remember, if you do want to tone it down, do so. As opposed to focusing on the pink colours, maybe focus on the more sort of lattice white areas and pair it with things like that, that will go with that. Or even bead over them. If you pick the sort of opposing colour or a slightly toned down colour of it, you could even kind of bead around them and mm. almost hide a little bit of that colour if you wanted. These kind of neon hues are always back in, in fashion at this time of year though. It's festival season, it's carnival season, it's pride season. It is that bright popping colour for all of those wonderful outdoor events. It's very, very, uh, you know, sort of out there and exciting and fun, I think, to be able to work with. So if you have got any outdoor events where I always think, there's something about summer, isn't there, in these outdoor events where people just go a little bit wackier and wilder, mm. then I think that's perfect. Well done. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. How many strands were in that? Oh, there were two. <laughs> just checking. I just found another. Say again. You stopped talking. Yeah, no props. Oh, nice. This is same sort of look, bit more subdued. I am... Um, got my it was my uh, but one of my best friend's birthdays the other week and i got him a um a hold all bag sort of a dark brown leather hold all bag with his um, initials uh, sort of inscribed on it and this is what that reminds me of you know those really luxurious quite deep set leathers that you can see sometimes in quite high-end stores that's what this makes me think of also almost those sort of faux leather um notebooks and, and stationery that you can get that you sort of imagine, you know, very high uh, business people walking around with, you know, very highly paid, very high stature. It's quite an expensive look, I think, because that texture makes it, because the texture's sort of lighter, it almost makes it look reset, even though it is completely smooth. We are bringing to you again, they are working out £6.70, which means £3.35 each approximately. What would you do with these ones? Well, having said the leather, I would make, make them into like bag handles, maybe with some macrame in between, and use them for handles on a leather bag. That's a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. I really like that <laughs> as an idea. £6.70 for your double trouble. Happy Friday evening. I hope you're having a gorgeous evening. I hope your week's been all right. If not, don't worry, it's the weekend now. Do feel free to message in if you've got any questions for the lovely Monica, who is here with us all the way through till the end of the show, who may or may not be filming something after, I wouldn't like to say. <laughs> um, yes, go on, love. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. What springs to mind when you look wow. at this? Baby blue, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Have a little look. Beautifully faceted, 
powder blue, baby blue um, textures within this. I think when you have something that's this kind of colour, it's quite calming. I think when you have something this kind of colour, it, it's quite sort of serene feeling. The fact that I'm bringing to you opal here, which happens to have facets upon it, is always a little bit extra special. For many a year, there are only a select handful of people who would dare facet opal for fear of damaging the stone. We have got here for you not only that really serene, calming look and quality, but also as you're looking across these, I think it's almost quite a deceptive strand. Sometimes when you think of blue opal, you will think of maybe flattened colours. But actually, no, they have different elements um, upon them. They have areas that will slightly change in shade before your eyes. And I think that's beautiful because it gives it personality. This is not a flat, dull stone. This is an entirely natural, highly faceted, big blue opal. I'm going under a tenner. So if you want to grab it, it's 9 95 on your screen and you are getting loads in here. Absolutely oodles of them. And they're sizable, aren't they? They're feature pieces there towards the centre. But as I say, to be able to get these faceted, I think really highlights the beauty of them in the sense of, uh, you know, it adds a little bit extra. This is not a flat, dull stone. This has got nuances of colour, which just looks so beautiful, melding into one another, almost like a watercolour as the two different opposing hues touch and blend and meld into one another. And the fact that you've got the facets on this too adds a little extra sparkle to your life which personally opal and sparkle are not two words I usually connotate together so I feel like this is pushing me out of my usual realms of what I would expect in opal which I happen to like if you wanted to use it for your rings towards the side your uh, bracelets maybe in the middle uh, sorry slightly further on and then in the middle you've got your pendants you could do that probably two times maybe even three times over with this one strand so lovely if you want to do your giftable jewelry nice work and 9.95 uh, it is time to bring to you some i had to keep under my hat we are going to do it for you now see you later see you later see you later bye bye see ya stop by The dagger beads by themselves. Now, I'll be honest with you, um, just this is probably not that interesting for a lot of you, but I think it's always quite important to know, you know, how a business works, etc. Um, with a kit, for example, this is a kit. If we had, uh, you know, let's say, a hundred of these, 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 but only 20 of these, we'd only be able to make 20 kits, okay? Makes sense, doesn't it? Because our limitation on this was just shy of a hundred, but we actually had a few of these left over, we've been able to bundle them. However, was it 47 you said we had? Or have I made that number about something else? Yeah. 47 is all we have of this bundle. So we've not heavily promoted it or anything else purely because it's low, it's low, uh, low stock opportunity. I'm gonna bring you them both in together. And if you have just tuned in, these were the ones from the kit. So you'll be able to see next to Monica, the lovely designs in which she's used these in. You can see in the you know big bib style necklace, she's used a lot of um, these also in the earrings and the pendants. So if you've not seen these used before, don't worry, Monica's uh, got you covered. We're bringing these to you right here, right now, in a one minute's time, starting now. We're bringing it to you right here, right now. Only jokes, one minute. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring it to you in one minute. Whilst we are, have a little bit of a quiet time and enjoy looking around these pieces of jewellery whereby they've been used. Gosh, that's a good bit of camera work, Dan. <laughs> Anyone would think he's trained, says Liam. <laughs> Can I just say, it's really deceptive the way they're stranded on those little strands because it looks like it's a small strand, but there's so many of them on there. Yeah. You get 25 on each one. Mm. They're beautiful, aren't they? I hope you're dialing through at this moment in time because we've got around about 15 seconds left. You see they've been used in this design as well. 
and they just create that beautiful effect. These ones, as you can see, have got the Peacock design, 25 on each strand. You've got five seconds until they come in. And yes, I am doing both of them together. It is a bundle. So you're getting one of each color in here. The graphics are live now, and we're bringing to you approximately, well, yeah, it is 25 on each of them. And we're bringing you a great deal extras in your dagger collections. Your price point today, not, not there. And I will just let you know, you know, that already isn't a shouldn't be price, is it? Because they should be, you know, brought separately, shouldn't they? So actually, we're going to give you a drop deal now. You ready for it? <coughs> Liam says he is so not ready. <laughs> and he's really not. Oh, that's lower than you said. Oh, wow. He's seen a little bit of leeway. Okay, this is a great one to really grab. If you if you love these much as we do, twelve pounds and ninety five pence. So grab them whilst you can. And remember, if you do want to make the designs that you've seen next to Monica, you will probably want to buy the kit, which is still available for you. It does contain these. It also contains these. The reason I'm reminding you of this is because you might think, oh, I really want to make what Monica's made. So actually, can I get the whole kit? Or you might think, okay, um, you know. I've got loads of sea beads and everything else. I just need the daggers. So it's up to you now. You can choose. Twelve ninety five just for the daggers at the sides of the screen. Twenty nine ninety five for all of this, including the preciosas, the seed beads. Um, in the um, uh, two large sheaves and the fire line as well, so it's absolutely up for you. Well done, Surrey. Well done, Grace London. Well done, Bristol. For anyone who's just tuned in, what did you like about these ones, Monica? Well, they're just so interesting. You don't see that pattern on a bead usually, you know. So I don't know how they do the pattern on there, but it's, it's really unusual. It looks divine, doesn't it? It really does. I'll show you them up close and personally again as well, especially these ones, mm. just so you can see, because uh, they almost look just like a, a flat colour until you get close, and then you see almost this quite sort of Aztec, I feel, mm. uh, look, probably just because of the colours and the sort of striations that you're getting in here. But yeah, you've got that wonderful peacock pattern too. They do look beautiful. They've got the one drill hole on these. They sit really beautifully in together. Um, and... Um, um, as I say, 25 on each of those strands. I did say that I only had 47. I've got half of the stock gone now, apparently, pretty much. So uh, do make sure you're grabbing them if you fancy them as much as we do. 12.95, well done. The whole kit, 29.95. So it's up to you, whichever way you want. Maybe you've already got the kit, but you go, do you know what? I love them. I want to stock up. It's either way. It's up to you. Let me dive into some more treats. Oh, I love this strand. The Chrysocola coming up in 10 minutes. Let me show you that. Brand new launching today. It's amazing colour. It's fab, isn't it? So that's coming up for you very soon. But let me bring you... Just look at this strand. This looks so expensive because it's mm. so sparkly. Serious high shine sparkle you've got here. And what I'm bringing to you is a beautiful strand that goes with absolutely everything yeah. because it picks up and bounces the colour around. So this really, truly is one of those super duper chameleon strands you're dealing with here. We've got that lovely facet work on them, which it just... I think maybe it's due to the size of the facets and the way the junctions meet and the fact that it, it, it the, maybe the size of the bead overall. It just looks like one of the most sparkly of all sparkling quartz that I've brought to you in ages. £6.95 today's deal for you. If you like the look of those delicates, uh, keep your eyes peeled for the next kit. Um, I love this strand so much. Even just a stretchies, this would be great, wouldn't it? Mm. Or in little um, fascinator twists, little tiara twists. Something like this is going to catch the light so beautifully. And it doesn't matter what your gemstone or what your outfit or what your hair colour, it's going to work because it is that clarity that whatever you pair it with, it's going to work with beautifully. Um, you can see the lovely fiery quality of this. It's brilliant. Next up, I'm going to get for you... Oh, uh, tell me what it's meant to look... Uh, uh, there's nothing in there. Sorry, sweet pea. Aragonite. Okay, it's on my tea bar. 
<laughs> what do you think? I love aragonite and I haven't seen it properly in a fair amount of time to be honest. This actually is a much stronger colour than I would normally expect from an aragonite if I'm honest. It's very, very, um, it's almost like angelite in colour. Aragonite and the way in which it forms is nuts. It looks like something off another planet. It's, um, oh, I wonder if I can find your picture online actually, I must be able to. Uh, it's really unusual, it really is. It's like, um, I don't even know how to describe it. I'll see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, but what we've got here for you is your aragonite in this really beautiful blue colour. And the way in which it forms, it's almost um, sort of molecular. It's almost coral-like. Oh, here's a picture, actually. Here we go. Wow. Um, so it's, uh, it's almost coral-like. Go back. It's almost coral-like, the way in which it forms. It's really unusual. Um, as you can see in this picture as well, it is normally a yellow yellowy, um, white colour, only now and again will you actually get natural hues running through this that are a bit more appealing and that is clearly what you've got on this strand. Beautiful blue Spanish aragonite you're getting here in these wonderfully uh, perfect round forms and we're bringing them to you today at $39.95. You've seen how this forms and it does form like, like you know, it's all the world is and it's almost coral like but you do not get big pieces of it therefore because it's so so sort of angular, it's quite hard to get nice big pieces like this. So, you know, it is a more considered strand, but boy, is it a collector's dream. Um, gemologists, oh no, do you know what, even more than that, mineralogists and geologists are obsessed with this stone because it's just so quirky. It's really unusual. It isn't quite like anything else on the planet. Uh, and to be able to get it in that natural blue colour is very, very special. I'm pretty positive it's actually one of the rarest colours of aragonite, but don't quote me on that. Most of the time, as I say, it is... Um, uh, sort of a yellowy white pale colour but this has definitely got more of that angel like kind of hue it is a little bit stronger than that though it's 98 carats worth in total and it's 39 pounds and 95 pence for you well done I've got to dive into some unikite now in your drops I love when we have sort of the flat drops like this I just mm. think they look so beautiful because they're kind of seamless in a strange way. I don't know how to describe it. But they flow really nicely, I think. Perfect to do floral designs with when they're in this shape. Because literally you can just put the kind of points together and there you go. Jobs are good and you've got yourself a beautiful floral-like design. Also nice with a kit. Oh, Jo, I was thinking the exact mm. same thing as that. Why did that spring to mind for you? Well, they're kind of a similar shape to the daggers, aren't they? So you could put them in, in place of the daggers even. Mm. Hmm. Oh, yes, please, Liam. Let's go to a brand new low. Mm. £9.95 pence for you today. That's a brilliant deal. 28 wow. stones is a guaranteed for you right now um, for these beautiful teardrops. We are going to go to the lowest ever price because we can, and therefore we will. So it's just £7.95, making them 20, 28p each. Well, I never. 28p each, that is it. What is 28p nowadays? Not a first class stamp, that's for sure. Not even a second class stamp. No chance. No stamp. Uh, oh, do you know those, I was talking to the mid show about this the other day. I was absolutely blown away. You know the well-known chocolate eggs that have the toy on the inside? They're white chocolate, then milk chocolate. When I was younger, I remember them being around about 29p. Hmm. Yeah. Then they went up to 35p. And I remember <laughs> being quite young and being like, 35p for one of them? Are you joking? Now, do you not remember them being 35p? You are quite a bit younger than me. Yeah, 35p, I remember it clear as day. 95p! 95p! Now, yeah. Sure, I'm losing day. Seven thousand ninety-five pence for you today. I think it's a brilliant deal because you're getting them for around about twenty-eight p each. So if you do want to treat yourself, this is your time to do so. Um, and if you wanted it with the daggers that I did maybe in the bundle, mm. what do you think? 
I think the colour works, mm. particularly these. Let's do one more before the break. Don't forget though, I've got oodles more to come. Moss Agate now. Wow. In your cubes. What do you think? It's unusual to have them in the cubes, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. What do you like about the unusual shapes as a designer? Well, it's just that you don't see them very often. It makes you think of new things, you know, <laughs> new designs. Because these are so 3D, um, I think they almost make me think of quite a structural way of using them, almost sort of mosaic-esque, mm. almost sort of building blocks. Um, we're bringing them to you at £6.95. The shape itself, you know, you have to be pretty precise to be able to do it, as I suppose with any facet work. But as you can see, real nice evenness to these. It's a little bit like if you've ever tried to form a dice shape or a cube shape with like a, a well-known tack or with, you know, like a polymer clay. It's quite easy to get the basic shape, but to get it absolutely bob on is, is a little bit hit and miss sometimes. But now imagine doing it with a genuine gemstone. It's a uh, you got to be you're pretty brave to give it a go but these have definitely absolutely hit the nail on the head with it i have got to let you know about my must have this evening and it's coming up for you it's literally after the break this is a brand spanking new strand and i know that you've been watching the vts for this for the last day or two um it's the quality of this for me which is so unbelievable when you're looking at this, you can literally see the structure points unlike ever, ever before. If you want these substantial treasures of the earth, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in about three and a half minutes. Hi, guest designer Alison Tarry here. Just wanted to bring you up to date with what's happening. 8th of August, me and Elle again. Storm duos are back, it's incredible, can't wait, got loads of colours, lots of lots of new makes and the Storm Duo DVDs back in stock too. Join us on the 8th on The Morning Show. strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. If you have a question or a query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com.
Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people. We're about to bring you something brand spanking new. What do you think? These are, without shadow of a doubt, the most dramatic stranded pieces I have ever witnessed. This gemstone is already a little bit of an enigma. It's a gemstone which has, we think, been written about in history based on its descriptions, based on old scriptures. But realistically, it's actually only in the past few years that this has come into its own. I get invited to industry events every now and again. Um, sometimes I'll get invited as um, someone who will go and do talks. Sometimes I will get invited as someone to just go and, uh, you know, kind of uh, look at and, and listen to talks and lectures. Sometimes it'll be going to um, industry events where people in the industry are selling to other people in the industry. And the first time properly I saw this gemstone outside of Jewelry Maker Mind was at one of those events. And um, there was a gentleman uh, from the USA who had a stand and it was, uh, you know, it was, it was meters, it was, it was a, a 3D stand if that makes sense. It wasn't just kind of a stand in the desk. It was one of your walk-in stands, if you will. And there was a queue a queue of industry professionals. So these were people who, you know, work in gemstones, go around the world and see different gemstones, etc. And there was literally a queue. And this queue of people was that were, were staring at and ooing and ahhing over a roof of this gemstone. And that was genuinely probably only about three years ago. And he was explaining to industry professionals, one of which I, I know quite well and from um, a previous channel um, I sort of worked now and again on, even that person was stood in the queue, ooing and ahhing, asking a thousand and two different questions. This really is, although it's quite historic, this is still quite a new gemstone to work with and wear in many, many ways. I'm bringing it to you from the same location that that roof was found. And I'm bringing to you right now as today's must have. If you fancy grabbing the most dramatic, and this is a dramatic st stone anyway, I mean, imagine being at an in industry event and literally seeing a, a, a you know, set of industry professionals queuing up to look at this piece of roof. That is how much of a stir this causes. And the reason it causes such a stir is because of the drama it gives you. You can see, because these are so sizable, as I said, the largest I've ever seen stranded here at Jewelry Maker, in fact, anywhere, I'll be honest, um, you actually get to see the real drama that everyone was ooing and ahhing over in the rough. And we're bringing it to you right here, right now. Your graphics are coming live, so if you do want to grab it, I hope you started dialing. It is drama. It is dramatic. What you have got here is actually absolutely tantalizing strands um, because you get to see all of the moments within this. This is in really good standing when it comes to kind of like rock star gemstones because if you have ever heard of uh, Pareba tourmaline, I don't know if you've ever heard of that, you may or may not have. Um, if you've ever heard of um, Oregon Sunstone aka, the word has escaped me, wait, 
Serenite, got there, uh, aka Serenite, if you've, if you've ever heard of that. Um, we used to sell it here at Jewelry Maker. If you have ever heard of turquoise, which I'm sure a lot of you will have, they are best friends of this gemstone because they are all copper-bearing gemstones. A copper-bearing gemstone is always going to be a bit of a rock star, and I think what you can see in here is the way in which the copper in the formation of this has altered and changed in quantities, so you're getting almost these scenic features pieces that uh, sort of side one here it almost looks like a waterfall going down a rock formation this one here almost looks like sort of a blue planet you know snapshot underneath the ocean you are getting pictures and stories here naturally because of the way in which these are formed you would not be able to get that drama and effect were these half the size I'm going to straight away take it under 50 for you we're, we're not dillying nor dallying around today. So there you go, 41.95 already. This is behind me though for a reason, today's must have. So it really is time to react if you fancy grabbing it. You ready for this? £41.95 is reducing. As you may or may not know, when we do brand new strands on things like today's must have, we basically lose money on them. In fact, lose money basically, not a term. We lose money on them, but we are prepared to do it because it builds a little bit of hype, a little bit of excitement, and it also hopefully encourages you to watch live at certain times throughout the day as a minimum so that you know you can seize the moment and get that best price point as our launch is £24.95. For you usually well no usually it's a lie 41.95 is the usual price 24.95 is your today's must-have price however we are going to be bringing to you in a little bit your black jadeite and we were looking at these alongside uh, each other before and we want we were talking essentially about how you, know, you don't see black jade very often you don't see chrysocolla like this very often and how could we make it possible for people to work them in together so with an aok -okay from management this is the only reason we've been able to get away with this we are bringing to you an absolute bare bones deal we are already losing money on this for all intents and purpose we are going to make nothing right now apart from friends so be our friend get involved it is a fry yay deal if you want to grab it now is your chance 19 95 is your deal today just if you love it as much as we do if you like this texture do treat yourself now 41.95 this will be in a matter of hours in fact 12 hours from now you know before that actually it will be 41.95 um i have 52 approximately um to start with sorry i had 52 to start with I've got less than 30 now available, just shy of 30. It is such a dramatic strand. It is such a dynamic and iconic look. It truly is. And remember, as I said, you know, this had all of those people talking about it because it's such a unique gemstone. As I, you know, did mention before, it's, um, it is a gemstone that we think people spoke about in history. You can never be entirely sure because, you know, names might change um, and also, uh, mining regions will mine out uh, for example but there was a stone that has been mentioned numerous times in in history around the ancient egyptians uh, time um referring to a stone that's like a greenish blue that has these kind of textures that comes from this location which have you know all of these very descriptive words um and it was known as the uh, the wisdom stone or the wise stone um uh, because obviously in in ancient egyptian times uh, in a way crystal healing and the beliefs were very very strong um, so anyway it's sort of something with a lot of history but not a lot of history I know that's a complete juxtaposition of itself but you know what I mean um, it's, it's something which has history but it's still relatively new in many ways loads of you coming in on these ones I have taken this to better than half price so I'm not really surprised well done to you all who are coming in on this one I will just let you know that I have got other elements coming up for you 
um, in this hour. If greens are, and sort of, if, sorry, 3D things are your thing, I've got this dramatic strand coming up for you in this hour. I have also got coming up for you in the show today, if you like bars, I've got some bars coming up for you. Double-sided ones, actually. I really like these ones cool aren't they so they're coming up for you in the show this evening i have also got another kit for you uh one piece of which i am wearing which actually because you've got pretty much every color in this that, oh, i think that works really nicely something like that so yeah we've got absolutely oodles and oodles coming up for you tonight's show it is friday so feel free to put your feet up crack open a bottle of wine and just enjoy a nice chilled out friday evening with us do feel free to uh, message us in as well and let us know what you're up to 60777 don't forget if you want to uh, message in any questions from Monica, then you absolutely and completely can as well. Do feel free to get in touch with us. We love hearing from you. We really do. What's your cheeky... This is Liam, sorry. What's your cheeky Friday night? Tipple. I'm glad it took you a long time to finish that sentence. <laughs> What is your Friday night tipple? What do you treat yourself to on a Friday night? It's just a little bit, little bit extra. Do you feel free to let us know. Okay, well done everybody. Keep dining through. Let's move on to this way. Ah, parasite. I'm bringing it to you now. These are your varicite, a very, very affordable gemstone to say the least. And this is described as your turquoise green varicite. I think to me it's more of a sort of duck egg blue, isn't it? Very pretty indeed. What would you do with this, Monica? Well, you can just make a simple stretchy from that, can't you? It doesn't have to be very complicated because you've got so much interest in the gemstones. Hmm. But then you could, you know, you could put some spaces in between. You could just use one in the middle of a necklace. Mm. It's a quite a big size, so it's big enough to stand on its own. Oh, definitely. That's really interesting. Just tucking into this. <laughs> Hang on. Two tips. Oh, something like that. Oh. Oh. What do you reckon? That's interesting. Do. Space them out a bit. Yeah. Oh, the illusion is broken. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I look like that guy who relaxes in ice. What's his name? The guy who likes to knock about in um, see-through boxes above oh, well, things. David, David, Blaine. David Blaine. Well done, David Blaine. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, they're coming up for you. Can I stay, show you my half? Blah, blah, blah. Can I show you my half past star by? Yes, I can. Which one was it? Yes, of course it is. This is such an interesting strand. Quite a phrase. It never really comes in this colour. We have got here a stunning colour. coming up 15 minutes okay next up bead caps what's that oh bead caps oh these are so lovely really nice size bit bolder than the usual bead caps let me show you these they're like little crowns have a little look Solid stunning silver we're working with here and they are creating this lovely lace like look Ooh, easy for you to say. Um, what you're getting, if I hold them up for you, is essentially, I always think these look a little bit Fabergé actually, a bead cap. They just give you a real nice sort of full stop on things. So if you are to use your imagination, um, a bead cap like this, if you imagine this is in the drill hole, a bead cap like this sits essentially on top of a bead, on top of a gemstone, obviously at drill point 
uh, section and it essentially causes a feature piece or a focal piece. These are great on the likes of a stretchy bracelet if there's one stone you really want to focus in on. These are really lovely on your slightly more expensive gems as well and also if I'm honest with you these are actually great on any of those gemstones that perhaps you've only got one or two left of. Pop one of these on that piece and because you're making a feature of it because you're making it stand out you get to use the pieces you may otherwise not if that makes sense eight pounds and 95 pence lovely in earrings as well just on the top of things and you can say so this is your bead you can have one here and here or you could just have one on the top if you wanted it's up to you i have also actually seen these um in designs where you put up, up a head pin through them and they're almost like a spinner design um, for any of that really nice high motion jewellery if, if that's your thing, that kind of tactility. Uh, £8.95 and, and that is for six of these I should mention. You're getting way over four and a half grams in total and that lovely piping effect I think really draws your eye in. It's quite floral that section in the centre isn't it? Michelle's messaged in <gasps> Michelle's messaged in. We can't show it because in Liam's terms of the way she's put it. <laughs> I like that. Sounds a bit bit, bit a bit frisky. Go on. Me and the girls are having an 80s revival night with Lambrini. With Lambrini, what else? I know Lambrini. 2020, that's new to me. Anyone else know 2020? Blue Thunderbird cider, in it? That four litre, four litre cider you get for like a quid. <laughs> and Skull, that's beer, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah. Forgot out. What's wrong with that? Should I just say disgusting? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's a swear word, but Liam's that bit worried. I've forgotten how disgusting it all was. Lambrini makes your teeth rot, doesn't it? That is so sweet, that stuff. You wake up with like a coating on your teeth, don't you? Oh, oh, I love that. What an 80s revival. <laughs> Where have you gotten all these drinks from? I haven't heard of some of them for ages. Are you talking to me now? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm like, I'm, I'm at Michelle's party with her. <laughs> Go on, yeah. Okay. Okay, we are about to do, right, essentially in August, um, we are doing a bridal weekend winter wedding, I think we're calling it. We're going to be launching DVDs, some of which haven't been filmed yet, but they will be today. Um, we have got loads of treats and goodies coming up that weekend. Because that is such a big weekend, we have had embargoed um, pearls. We have done for the last few weeks. The only times you will have really seen pearls is in kits over the last couple of weeks. Um, we are about to bring you a string of pearls right now, as in a few after another, purely because all of these are so, so low stock, there's no point in saving them till a big event on a weekend, because literally they'll get the graphics on, they'll be gone, and that's it. So it's, it's a waste of time. So we're allowed to bring them to you this evening, as it's not specifically the weekend yet. Um, we're just going to do a run of a few, but I will say if you see anything you like, do grab them because otherwise you're not getting them until that event um, at the end of August. Near round multicolour pearls you're getting right here, up to nine mils. Check out the hues on these. It's so divine and entirely natural. That's incredible, isn't it? A stunning strand already. Uh, there's people with it in their basket showing a bit of interest. So if you do fancy grabbing it, do be quick off the mark. 19.95. Essentially, I have got less than 10 of all of these pearls I'm about to do. Some of them extremely, extremely low in stock. It's still worth dialing through if you see anything you like. Uh, because as I say, the winter wedding event is, um, well, it's taking place later on this month. You may well be running low of your pearls. This is a beauty. If you... Um, um, okay, uh, they've gone, they've gone, they've gone, well done. Next up, I've got, wow. Anyone need a lot of luxury pearls? The only, when I've been to um, like gem fairs and stuff, I have seen them selling one meter lengths like this and 
the small pearls, the irregular pearls you get for about 44 quid, you can get them up to about 80 pounds for a strand like this. And this again is just at a normal gem fair, not necessarily an industry gem fair, but a gem fair that anyone can go to. This is not 80 quid, 70 quid, 60 quid, 40 quid, well, 44 quid. We are bringing to you a full meter's worth right here. And that's another thing I would mention. The 44 pound ones that I see are nowhere near this size and they're way more irregular. These are a centimeter in size. We're taking them to 24 pounds and 95 pence. We buy in bulk, we get great deals, we pass them on to you. It is literally that simple. There is no magic formula, there is no hidden secret. We get an amazing price and we can decide as a business to make a lot of money or to make a bit of money we decide on the latter. We make a bit of money. We don't want to make no money because let's face it, we like having this channel, don't we? Also, Dan, quite picky about getting paid actually, aren't you? Ooh, we just... Yeah, Liam. Oh, sorry, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, most people do get paid, Liam. <laughs> he does do. He does. You're too old for work experience. <laughs> I know, but you always... Oh, says the 40 year old! <laughs> anyway. What did you say? Oh, yeah, they were taking the mick out of me the other day. Like, do you remember the moon landing happening? <laughs> what, the 50 year old moon landing? No, I do not, you little whippersnappers. <laughs> <laughs> Let me bring to you some gold now. Because you are gold. Gold. Oh, trust me, I know. So this is how much in love we are with each other. Because you wouldn't be able to take the mick out of people like this if you didn't like them, would you? Would you? <laughs> I'm bringing to you your beautiful daffodil golden pearls. I think these are divine. And they are just nine pounds and 95 pence. That is everything. You've got your um, opportunity to grab them. If you want to get something that's got a pop of colour, if you've got something that has got a little bit of an added zing, then this is your opportunity to grab it. Um, you have got £9.95 pence on these ones. Uh, they're going to look lovely along on a neckline design. Not afraid, actually, of it. I mean, I don't know how exactly. Maybe you just, instead of the chain, you'd pop the... Uh... Hang on, let me do it that way. Like that. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, eye up. Do you know what I mean? Ooh! Could be on to something there, Redders. £9.95 pence for you today. Moving on now. Two. I've got donuts coming up, don't forget. I've also, oh, how this colour is beautiful. Mm. Oh. Does that work or not? What do I think? I don't know, does it? I mean, it is a matter of opinion, isn't it? What do you think? These are your fuchsia pearls. I love this colour. I don't know how to describe it. It's got almost like a halo of light around it. So it almost looks like it's deep red at the heart of it, but actually there's this sort of beautiful sheen over the surface, which adds a little bit of purple to it, taking that deep red down a bit. On your screen, it does just look fuchsia. I think this is one you need to see in real life. Okay, this is, all of these are low stock. I look like I've probably got about seven or eight of these by the looks of things. £9.95. Monica, what would you do with this one? Well, I would put it with one of the... Uh the white pearl strands and just put maybe three of these sort of spread out through a necklace and the rest of them have, have the rest of them white. Mm. This is mm. obviously your kind of colour, you're wearing something kind of similar to mm. it. What do you like about that hue? It's, it's quite unusual, isn't it? It goes well with your nails. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of nude, yeah. We have got £9.95. Do keep clicking on through for that one. And just as a reminder, this is your last of pearls until the event. The only reason we're allowed to do pool, per, pools? <laughs> Anyone but pools? Um, the only reason we're allowed to do pools is um, in now to the run up to the uh, wedding event is if they're in a kit and or if they are crazy low stock and they've slipped through the net, hence why we're able to do these today. Last one for you now, they didn't go there. Tell me the number. Yeah? Yeah? These are lovely. A meter's worth. These, 
Come back here, yeah. These are the tape that I would say for about £44. So we have got for you a big amount of texture in here. These are the type, as I said, that I've seen at events about £44. You probably see the same. Um, this is a lovely look that you've got here. And if you did want to do a multi-layered strand, I think it's going to look absolutely fabulous, isn't it? What we're bringing to you here is a full meter's worth, which just to let anyone know, you know, to give you an idea, if you wanted to do a bracelet with these easily, it's one bracelet, two bracelet, three, four, five, six, uh, easily six bracelets, but let's remember, I've got a fair old bit left over and a bracelet of pearls is not a full ring of pearls, is it? It's a ring of pearls with like an inch taken out for a bracelet. So you'd easily be able to get about seven out of this, uh, depending on, you know, if you had an extender cord, even more. <laughs> Under a tenner though, for them all, nine pounds and 95 pence. Yeah, we're a full meter. Yes, they're genuine pearls. Yes, you're gonna be able to use these absolutely loads. That is a fabulous deal. Nine pounds and 95 pence for you. With this amount of pearls, you know, how is that a great thing for us crafters? Well, it just goes such a long way. You can make whole sets with it. And, but I was thinking if you spaced it out on, on a bracelet with a couple of seed beads in between, you could probably get 10 bracelets out of that. Great it's idea. A pound a bracelet, <laughs> a pearl bracelet, you know. When you think of it like that, it does just... Yeah. It boggles your mind. Um, if everybody were to check out, I would probably have about three left and that's it. And there's a couple of you with it in your baskets. Well done to those who have already checked out. Um, so do feel free to do so. I've got so much more to come. Um, but that is the last one of the pearls, I think. Have we run out of 27, have we? No, no. Oh. We might have one more pearl strand. We might, I wouldn't like to say. We need to check stock. Is this my little box treasure? This is so lovely. Let me show you this. This is um, how you receive specimens, actually, more as often than not. You get them in a little, little padded box like this. And it is a snapshot of genuine, natural amethyst druzy. Now this is the type of sort of raw material that is so popular, especially for the Asian market, that it's very difficult for us to be able to get big quantities of it. We have been able to bring you small geodes now and again. However, obviously we need to get a lot of geodes worth to be able to bring you the X amount of these that we've been able to supply. The Asian market on natural druzies of any gemstone is massive and they really have over the years driven prices up quite dramatically you know sort of let's say 10 15 years ago you might be able to get something like this um quite quite affordably but then if you think about you know the, the sort of provenance of crystal healing the influx let's say of um interest in actual crystals in their raw nature it really has gone from strength to strength over the last sort of decade or two so these have been pushed up in price we are going to give you the best price we possibly can if you want to grab it it's funny 82 and we're bringing it natural to you today so no coloring no dye no nothing for 29 pounds and 95 pence which genuinely for the quality and the sizes you're getting here especially with the market on uh, raw material like this being so big at the moment and prices being driven that is a genuinely fantastic price point and of course you can set this into your jewelry if I put that down uh, like that for you you can wire prong set this maybe with the solid stainless silver wire I did before the one mil so you can kind of pr faux prong set this because you can see it's quite a nice depth to it that you get in there so that'd be lovely to do or you could just have it as a talking point you know if you've got a strand of amethyst like that amethyst I did earlier on uh, you know you can kind of say this is the piece of jewelry and this is how it originally looked which is kind of cool isn't it um so if you do fancy grabbing it it does come in the box so we'll just let you know that as well so um it's a really lovely way of kind of uh, you know keeping it nice and safe 29.95 let's dive on in right now to bring to you a really unusual and brand new strand i've brought this gemstone to you numerous times but never quite in this shade i'm bringing it to you now Kel surprise start by
What I'm about to bring to you is a really, really unusual gemstone. And um, I was trying to look for a, a piece of its raw form, uh, but I literally cannot find one in this colour. I'm finding it constantly in that like apple green colour that you expect this gemstone to be. When we talk about chrysoprase, um, we talk about something which is it's almost, uh, well, it has been in the past, compared to and contrasted with that of jadeite and even nephrite in a way. Because usually, generally when you get it, it is an apple green. It is a high octane jadeite kind of hue. What I'm bringing to you now is a shade I have never, ever seen before, but I can kind of imagine how it's formed in this manner. It has got almost a matrix to it, which makes it look quite turquoise-esque, but the body color itself is a step away from that bright green and a little bit more muted, a little bit more nude, a little bit more Mother Nature. are interested in the mother nature palette if you are interested in kind of that earth meets uh, you know sort of um, earth meets sky if that makes sense if you are interested in the kind of chocolate caramel shades then I believe that this is absolutely and completely the gemstone for you what you have here is something quite interesting and quite unusual and as I say it's something I've not really seen in this hue before. From what I recall from the top of my head, uh, Chrysophrase gets its colour of the green from nickel so my imagination would suggest to me that there is either a slighter amount of nickel in the process or maybe a whole other element running through this but either way it's something that is different to me it's different for me it's not what I'm used to seeing if earthy colors are for you then this is the strand for you your price point today for this very unisex gemstone 17 pounds and 95 pence for an entirely natural new strand of your chrysophrase yellow chrysophrase to be specific it's got a lovely uh, facet work to it i always like you know faceted opaque gemstones two four six eight ten twelve thirty forty fifteen approximately i've got on this strand so they're working out uh one pound nineteen i'm being told each approximately and let's remember as well it might be quite interesting to do your research on this because different gemstones obviously within the crystal healing um family they have different connections and different meanings um i know that uh, Christ phrase itself has kind of um it's like it's it's a gemstone of happiness a gemstone of optimism isn't it in kind of the world of crystal healing i'm wondering if the yellow variety has different attributes it might it might be worth doing your research on um it is a beautiful gemstone a re if if you again like your earthy hues like your earthy tones and like a little bit of facet work then this is definitely a strand for you entirely natural at 17 pounds and 95 pence let's bring a green type of chrysoprase now which is what i'm used to seeing this is the one i gave you a sneaky peek of before it's amazing that that gemstone and this gemstone are the same i think this strand is so interesting i love it isn't that amazing that this and this gemstone are the same they're the same they're just different which one's you, more your idea of a good time? Because let's face it, we all have different tastes, don't we? I am bringing to you here your beautiful chrysophrase. And what we're bringing to you here is this lovely gemstone, which is really revered for that beautiful inner glow. It's quite a connective gemstone. I think it's quite a joyous gemstone as well because you get this really unusual illusion-like effect. It's kind of hard to explain. But if I show you, maybe from the side, I always think it has almost like an energy and a presence to it and it's sort of to do with the way the colour looks. So we're looking through at the thickest part of the stone now and as I sort of unfurl this, so the glow almost kind of 
affects you and it almost looks like it changes colour. It, it does it really, really strong and boldly in real life. I love these because Liam's saying to me he thinks that those are loads of pendants. Do you know what I'm thinking? Get a set of your perfect rounds and just space like two out or even three out in here with your rounds. That as a necklace is going to create almost like a big style shard effect, isn't it? It's going to be really edgy indeed. Um, let's, uh, oh yeah, can we? We're going to match the price. We are going to match the price on this with the previous one that we've done. Obviously, the yellow Chrysocola, this is, um, well, I'll bring you the price in. There you go. $17.95. This is around double the carat weight on the previous one. The other one I did for you was a launch price offer. So you might be thinking, well, Bex, why is that, uh, you know, same price? Surely that's not right. My um sort of knowledge would say to me because this is so unusual because we haven't had this before because this is a rarer color more uh, than than the green variety obviously rarity equals price point doesn't it so um just to give you an idea there of, of why that is what it is but i think this is such a stunning stunning strand i mean if i just centralize that a bit more look at that I just think it's going to go with every single colour. Space these out and have them really around the neckline, uber, uber dramatically. I think it's going to look fantastic. Could make it look kind of quite um, Aztec as well, actually, couldn't you? Oh, I like the idea of this with bare copper and then verdigris the copper. You know, when you turn it green. Anyway, well done. Oh, I was hoping you were going to say that. So, you know that design I've just thought of? Don't put two of these in between, put three of them in between and work with the ombre of colour. Three of these rounds in between. Oh, I think that's going to look so cool. I really, really, really do. So I'm bringing to you 20 carats worth here of your beautiful ombre chrysophrase. And I've got to say, I think that is a perfect pairing. I might have to get these ones because I think that I just need those as a pair. Especially as green is so in again at the moment, isn't it? I know it sort of falls in and out of fashion when it comes to clothing, but it's definitely back in at the moment. And um, we're giving you a drop down deal. $9.95. That, I'm definitely getting both of them. 100%. £9.95. pence. What's my start looking like on both of them? These ones and the last one. I've got a decent quantity of both, so I'll be able to get them later. Because I love those two together. I think they're beautiful. We have got £9.95. pence. What do you like about the ombre on this? Um, well, if you, if you separate them, um, you can use them separately. But if you, uh, if you just want to use them like that, you can... You can change them around because they, the ombre in them is not quite, it doesn't go from light to dark. But I would take them and I would, I would ombre the whole strand and use it like that. I see you what you mean. I mean. So go from the lightest all the way through to the darkest and the whole strand. That's a really cool idea. Mm. So these are sort of ombre in sections as Monica mm. said. So yeah. you'd actually get all the light ones and just go. Yeah lighter to deeper to darker i think that's a lovely idea you can see all of that wonderful color that is remember picked by hand and cut by hand um you know we haven't dyed it to look like that 9.95 oh come baba jasper it's been a while puffy coins of this jasper oh, let's have a little look go great with my deal of the day which i'll show you after the break I love a Jasper when it's all so different. That one looks like the Cheshire Cat. Can you see that? What does the Cheshire Cat say? Can anyone think of any Cheshire Cat quotes? I feel like that's something I should know. All I know is that he smiles. Very true. Hello, Alice. He probably says that. No, you are right. He probably says. No, that's the Caterpillar. Seven pounds and 95 pence you've got here on that 75 carat piece. Anyway, my point is they are unique, they're individual, they've got lovely mottles um, effect to them. If you were to make some up for a gent, what might you make with these? Um, I would put it in the middle of a, a, a macrame bracelet, just macrame on a tone and just one of those in the middle of that. I think that would be quite nice just to wear every day. Yeah. Mm. 
£7.95. I think it just looks so lovely. I really like that texture that you're getting with it. Keep dialing. I'm moving on up. Oh, this is dainty. Gosh, that's a new song. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> it sort of went, how did it go? Rose quartz, rose quartz, rose quartz. <laughs> rose quartz. I mean, it's not quite a vindaloo, but fair enough. songs I can remember. Ant and Deck did one, did We're they? On the We're on the ball. Ooh. That was a tune, yeah, yeah. What's, James Corden did one. Oh yes, I do remember that, a few years ago. Wasn't it for Children in Need or something? Football! <laughs> Apparently it went like that. I can't remember. Anyway, uh, Rose Courts I've got for you a glowing example. Um, that is such a good price. If these were completely opaque, I would n probably not even expect two ninety-five. Ben, th but they're not. It's not meant to be two ninety-five. Wink, wink. What did you say? Wink, wink. Did you say don't say anything? Oh right. <laughs> two pounds ninety-five. Yeah, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Don't say anything. Um, Sorry, <laughs> I'd already started. Uh, so two pounds and ninety-five pence for you. What about with? <laughs> Am I going loop de loo or does that work? General consensus? Loop de loo, loop de loo. Dan, what are you saying? Yeah. Yes or what? Loop de loo. Loop de loo. Right, I'll show them away then. <laughs> if you do fancy grabbing it, do do absolutely. Ooh, a up. You'll all agree with this. I think these work. Now you've got to all agree with me. What do you think? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah? Thank you. I mean, don't, don't dive over yourself, Dan. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. <laughs> yeah, those bars are coming up for you in a bit before it, though. Lab row door right. Rounds. Oh, nice. Have we got a blackboard somewhere? So I don't have to fling it all Blackboards normally belong on the wall. Oh, that was quite good, that, for you. That was pretty good. It was quite good for you, wasn't it? Thank you so much, Dan. You're a love. Have a little look at this. Um, I'm going to show you against the black because it has got transparency. So it's a bit easier to see. That is amazing quality, isn't it? That has got such a quality to it. What's your favourite thing about this strand, Monica? The colours. Colours, I love the colours there. Why? Because usually when you have Labradorite, well, what I've seen Labradorite in smaller rounds, you don't get the colours uh, so nicely. You know, you can see it in the bigger pieces usually, but not so, many, not so much in the four mills. And these are amazing. They're beautiful, aren't they? And they're only £6.95. Mm -hmm. Do you know what these would go quite nicely with? Oh, way up. Oh, way up. Oh. oh, they almost, they probably would fit, actually, if I had, they would, if I had something to grab them from the other side. But I won't do it just in case they get stuck. But something like that. I think that could look really cool mm. at like different intervals along the strand. You know what I mean? Like, I think that look really nice because these are thicker because of how these would sit. They are thicker, obviously, than the Labradorite. Then these are going to almost act like wheels against the skin. So the Labradorite's going to roll and rock and that's when it looks its best, isn't it? So you're going to wear it. These are going to roll. It's going to therefore in turn sort of roll the Labradorite. Woo! 6 95 well done. I'll do the donuts now if that's all right. It is going to be an on and gone because uh, I haven't got a huge amount of quantity. But let me show you them quickly. Oops, sorry. This is for anyone who loves 
your ceramics. Anyone who loves, like myself, you know, heading um, in Stoke at the potteries, anyone who loves, you know, uh, sort of the British craft, if you will, because of course there's lots of very well known. British ceramic artists, um, not just in big names such as, you know, Wedgwood, etc., but also local ones, of course. We are going to be bringing to you 16 in each colour, and you're getting one, two, three, four, five, six different pots. £23.52p, every single penny we can squeeze out. Popular! It is popular. This is going to sell out in probably about four seconds. No, it's still not sold out. Hang on. Four, three, two, one. No, it's still not sold out. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Still not sold out. How is that? <laughs> Great, we haven't got many of these ones left at all. It's gone. It's gone. Sold out. Well done. <laughs> Just so stop counting. Um, yes, go on. Sorry, sweet pea, you said. Don't, don't forget about 27. Are you doing them in this hour or next hour? You're going to do it next hour, all right. You're going to do it next. This is not Red Jasper, is it? <laughs> Which box did you tell me? You told me the wrong box. You've just told me the wrong box, haven't you? We'll do the carnelian next though. So if you uh, find the carnelian kind of appealing, then it will be up next for you. Because Liam messed the box up, he says, <laughs> I'm gonna take a hit on this one. Three pounds and 95 pence for these beautiful big pieces. These have got that lovely terracotta kind of color about them. And if you are a bit of a horticulturalist, I'm sure you've been um, knocking about with your terracotta uh, pots at the moment. Perfect time of year for it, isn't it? Heading out into the garden on these nice hot days and looking after all of your cherished plants. This is very much a sort of terracotta pot color, which I think is very traditional. Also for me though, it does remind me of some places I've been in the Mediterranean that have this kind of um, rippling uh, tile work, for example, you know, on rooftops and things. So maybe if you're heading off to somewhere like that, this would be a lovely one for you to just throw on when you're heading down to that Lataverna and you're having, you know, sort of your delicious food, etc. £3.95. It is a brilliant chance for you. Multi buyers in on that one as well. Uh, keep dialing. I've got to do the carnelian for you now. This is spicy. <laughs> you're right, Dan. You're right, Dan. Did that coffee nearly come out your nose then? Because you laughed just as you had a swig. You're right, love. Oh, you can't stop now. Is that liquid still in your mouth? <laughs> you're right, Dan. Dan, do you need medical assistance? <laughs> He's walking out. <laughs> oh, bless him. It's just a bit like this. Bless him. We have got for you 35 carats worth of your carnelian. Dan's not here uh, at the moment, so we'll just show you this recording. <laughs> We're bringing to you a 30 centimetre strand, and as you can see, it is a beautiful large strand. Here he is! What were you chuckling at then, Dan? What? <laughs> you still can't get your words out. <laughs> no. You're right, Dan. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be all right. Oh, that's funny. Anyway, six pounds and nine. I think he's just got the giggles. Six pounds and ninety-five pence for you today. If you want to treat your hands to it, you treat your hands to it. <laughs> Don't even know what that means. Treat yourself to it. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. It's a lovely, bright, fun colour, isn't it? And if you like this kind of colour, do you know what else is fun? Says Liam. Me. You are fun. Don't remember getting that email, do you, Dan? <laughs> yeah, no, you are really fun. Is that how you would describe Liam as fun, Kerry? Pardon, what did you say, Dan? Sorry, let's just get Dan's opinion on this. Dan, nice and loudly, 
Would you describe producer Liam as fun? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Gosh, we adore each other, don't we? Don't we? You can tell. You can tell. It's true love. It is. Right, Colin, where do you want me to go next, uh, fun Liam? <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Foxy! <clears throat> Oh, it's just reminding me of that well-known bingo site. Or, oh my gosh, I forgot about that song. Do you remember this song? What does a fox say? Do you remember that? What other animals were on it? Cat. What does a cat say? Meow, 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 meow. Dan, the lovely man, says Karen. Yes, Dan. And the thing is, I didn't even see him texting that in there, so this must be a genuine text. <laughs> oh, oh, that just came at me. Um, I am bringing to you these lovely origami. Um, oh, <laughs> gosh, they're trying to get me. Oh my days. I, I don't know where they've gone. I have got for you less less um, foxies than I once had. Oh, someone's had a bath throat. There's a big set of lozenges down here. <laughs> Bright blue ones. <laughs> no, they are big lozenges. That's a gob stuff that is. <laughs> anyway. You will get six. I've got four. Oh, no, there's one here. Oh, I've just dropped him on the floor. Just dropped them on the floor. It's all right. If you whistle them, they come back. <laughs> I can't. I've forgotten how to whistle. <laughs> Humming and whistling is my party trick. It's not really a party trick. Have you ever tried it? Can you hum and whistle, Monica? No. <laughs> Quite easy, but not when you're live on telling and people ask you to do it. <sighs> I've just got to send to myself. <laughs> Anyone can do it, it's not hard, it's just about the focus. Oh my gosh, they do not want to stay with me. Come back little foxies. What do you call a set of foxes? A, I do know this. No, no. no. Anyway, is it a pack? No, it's not a pack of foxes, is it? No, it's owls, a parliament of owls, isn't it? Anyway, sorry, what did you say? Okay, it's the last strand of pearls. The last strand. And the reason I'm so last about it is because um, all of our pearls that aren't either in a kit or very, very small quantities have all been embargoed until our event in, well, at the end of this month. These are perfection. I have this strand. I have gifted this strand. I am prepared to buy another strand. Today will not be my day, though, because I have got low stock. Less than 10 of this perfect, perfect pearl collection. Now, one thing that you may well be looking at right now is the description of these. Let me just break that description down. Multicolor. Obviously, you can see you're getting different hues. You're getting your whites, you're getting your peaches, you're getting your lilacs. Those colors are natural. Next up, freshwater culture. That is how pretty much every single pearl is now created because, uh, you know, diving, hand diving for pearls is essentially eradicated uh, sort of a hundred odd years ago um, because of, it was very disruptive to the planet. These are pearls. They are not shell pearl, etc. cetera. Um, the next thing to point out to you is the approximately eight to nine mil. That's really important. Normally the size there will say, for example, eight times, meaning by, obviously, eight by nine, which would mean they're eight mil-ish one way and nine mil-ish the other. This is eight to nine mil. So these are basically saying you're looking at rounds. You're looking at rounds here. I think the recording, you can see that these are essentially rounds. And I think you can see that in the strands, these are essentially rounds. Towards the end here, they are closer to eight mil. And as you get further around, they go up ever so slightly to around about nine mil in the center. So it is a graduated strand that you're getting out here. So for round pearls, as these appear to me, for natural colored round pearls, as these are, 180 pounds, I think would be a bit of a steal. 
especially as you know these need to be the absolute you know rolls royce creme de la creme top notch mollusks to be able to form around today i'm bringing to you oh my gosh this is such a good price that's an amazing price 99.95 absolutely i'd be happy as you like not today though we're taking them to under 60 pounds in fact hey under 50 49 pounds and 95 pence your price point if you seize the moment right here right now these ones by the way are a whole strands of round pearls that's essentially what you're getting at here isn't it that's essentially what you're seeing here and you can see that they are round in fact if i hold it out and i give this a little swirl you might not realize this um, but I am rotating that strand normally if these were a an oval shape they would kind of go larger smaller larger smaller that makes sense for example this is a strand that um, I think sold out before but these might look a bit round on first glance but actually as I move them can you see how they go larger smaller larger smaller larger smaller these ones don't because they're round eight to nine mil final four now waiting for you if you you know know someone who would absolutely love and adore these i can tell you that um i as i said i've bought these i have pearl knotted them with the help of um a lovely guest designer fleur here at jewelry maker and i gifted them to my grandma she absolutely adores them 49 pounds and 95 pence for you if you do want to grab them you absolutely can i'll just show you sorry let me just I know this is slightly overlapping this lovely necklace from Monica, but I just want to show you the actual length of the necklace itself. So that's, that's touching at the back, as you can see. Um, this kit, if you love the look of it, it is coming up for you in a few moments. Deal of the day I'm going to do straight after the break, and then I'm going to dive on into this kit. How would you describe this kit briefly, Monica? It's just fun summer colours, isn't it? Yeah, fun summer colours. Yeah, rainbow colours. <laughs> um, what, who do you think is going to enjoy this kind of kit? Somebody who just loves using Delicas because it's such a good stash builder as well. Mm. And for anyone who hasn't worked with Delicas, do you treat them differently or do they just give a different look? Just a different look, mm. yeah. So they're coming up for you in the kit very, very soon. Um, but don't forget, Black Jade coming up after this break. Welcome to Jewelry Maker. We are part of the Immediate Media family. Immediate Media is a fast-growing multimedia platform company who operates some of the most loved brands across the UK. Our brands range from our other shopping TV channel, The Sewing Quarter, to our very successful magazines, such as Simply Knitting, Molly Makes, and The Radio Times. We work incredibly hard to inspire you and bring you lots of exciting ideas and projects. So whatever your creative needs, you know that our crafting family will be there for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. 
Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker phone is free from a UK landline, so call us today to place your order. Our Jewelry Maker community is a fantastic platform to share, learn, chat and make new friends. So why not like our Facebook page and join over 64,000 like-minded people? If you'd like more information on up and coming shows, you can view the program guide on our website. Did you know, no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one fee of postage and packaging. Select our standard delivery for just $3.95, or if you'd like to receive your goods sooner, upgrade to our premium option for $5.95. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. We are here for your deal of the day recap and sometimes at this time we don't recap the deal of the day quite frankly for a couple of reasons. First off, sometimes it's sold out and second off, sometimes it's a matter of time. You can still get it any time of the day, um, you know, the deal of the day. Um, we have made time for this. I am going to be leaping into a demonstration with the lovely Monica very, very soon. This is the incredible strand we're talking about. This, of course, has been made up into a neckline piece for um, by one of our in-house designers. Um, I would show you the strand, but the, they've obviously done a demo with the strand this morning, so it's cut up and there's kind of odds and ends made with it. Better just to show you it here as it is, I think. And on the recording, of course. This is your beautiful Burmese black jadeite. And we are bringing to you a hundred and ten carats worth of it in these wonderful bicones. And we are bringing to you a lovely luxury look on this one. And the black jade itself is something quite unusual to be able to see. It's a gemstone which has real gravitas to it. It's all about sort of um, the independence of this, not only in the crystal healing realm where it is seen as a very independent gemstone, but also the independence of it in the actual jade name because it is so standout and unique. 
We are bringing to you that beautiful, intense quality that not, is isn't not just a flat black gemstone. You can see perfectly in the recording. This has those nuances, those moments of colour. I have brought you coloured jade before, but actually totally natural and still been able to bring it to you for £24.95. pence. It is an incredible strand to be able to bring to you naturally. As I've said, we have brought you coloured jade before. I've brought you blue. We've brought you, I don't know which actually if I have. I don't know, maybe I have. We've seen um, blue jade and yellow jade, and those are real things, absolutely. Ours are dyed to, to give you that appearance because essentially they're very expensive to get. Um, we've been able to bring you now though something slightly different, something slightly out there, totally natural yet still very affordable into jewelry maker fashion. Obviously you won't get it like this, this has been added with the spaces in between but as you saw in the recording that is the kind of look you will get. 110 carats worth of nice work to you. It's lovely isn't it? Really pretty. So well done one and all, not a huge amount left. Moving over now. I thought you said 15 minutes. Let's go. For the kit. For the kit. I thought you meant starting 15 minutes. Oh. I've got my foot stuck. Are you all right, hon? <laughs> Let me bring to you. Oh. I'm just getting stuck on everything. Let me head on over here and let me just say to you a few special things are taking place in this hour. I have got some really unusual and exciting bits. For example, just showing you one. Pretty cool these, aren't they? Just, just showing you one thing. No, in fact, you know what? I'll show you two because I'm nice. <laughs> yeah, you see? Oh seen these before they're really cool they're great you can use them as um <clears throat> shoe pins i have also seen people use these ones if they're the ones i think that are flat and back yeah you can also use them as press on earrings mm. they i've got them coming up i've got metals i've got gemstones and i've got this fabulous kit that i just have to dive into these are delicas so monica what are delicas and um, what is so good about them well Delicas are little cylinder shaped beads. They're, they're kind of like seed beads, but uh, they're flatter on the sides. They don't bulge out like a round seed bead, which means they sit together really nicely when you're weaving them together to make a flat piece. And with the Delicas themselves, it obviously gives you this really nice flat design. So there's not that doming in these, which means they sit together really nicely, almost like a tapestry. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of effect you can make with these. If you have ever seen people, you know, writing with seed beads, you know, you can spell out things or doing patterns with seed beads. Not always, but more so often than not, it is done with mm -hmm. Delicas. I'm bringing to you 11 O's across the board. They're 7.2 gram tubes, and you're getting this full range of colors, which as you can see is not a million miles away from your wonderful rainbow colors. As well as that, I'm going in with the green wildfire. So the green wildfire is not quite as in your face, I would say, as maybe the um, uh, cloud color, this sort of a charcoal color, the black color. So I think it nooks in really nicely with these colors, makes it a little bit less obvious which is fantastic because wait until you see Monica's designs. If you are feeling a little bit tired and sleepy and a bit oof, after a week at work, check these out because we are talking sunshine lollipops and rainbows. We have got in here a great collection. Just tell us how this design came into play, please, Monica. Oh, well, it's just, I was thinking of how to put all the colors together because it's just such a fun set of colors. You know, so just it makes you feel happy to look at all these really colours together. Really does, doesn't it? And it does, it makes me think of, you know, sort of, very much sort of even 1950s Technicolor films that you see, you know. Mm. It's so bright and beautiful and bold. Look at these ones, tell us about these. Well, that one, I was looking at the colours originally and then I suddenly realised if you take away the pink, then you've got all the rainbow colours, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue and purple. So I wanted to make something that looked a bit like a rainbow, so I just found a couple of beads in my stash. I'm not even sure what they are, to be honest. They look a bit like the aragonite we had on, actually, yeah. before. Yeah, to but be you honest. could use any, any bead uh, for the middle of it, but I just wanted something that was bluish, you know, sort of a sky blue. Yeah. And then a rainbow. Now, this, you've actually said, is one of your favourite makes of the whole day. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about this design. Well, I just like the little flower. I just... Um, quite happy with how it turned out <laughs> in the end. I was going for a flower because obviously these are 
quite good for flower colours as well, flowers if you want to do them. Isn't that stunning? So. I love that design. It's really nice and comfortable as well. Um, we're going to have a look at another design now, and these are your earrings. And I said to you earlier on, I love this design because it's quite a small shape, mm. but it doesn't have to create a big look as they move, yes. doesn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a really quick make if you want to do something that, you know, with uh, delicacy, it doesn't have to be a big... Uh, big involved piece necessarily. Mm. You can just do a little bit and, and use the colours. Yeah. yeah. This is the design that I was wearing earlier on. Laura's messaged in from Gwent saying, Seaside lollipops! <laughs> You're absolutely right. That's totally what that twisty design reminds me of too. I can't think what... It is sunshine lollipops and rainbows, isn't it? And the girl with the perfect white hair and she's got one of those big sort of lollies like that. It just looks <laughs> so sweet and fun, doesn't it? So you're getting all of this in the kit, you're getting all of the threads, your price point today, and all that is going away. Wow. £3.74 each now you are looking at. So you've got eight pieces in total at that minimal price point. Delicas are sometimes more of a considered price. In fact, nearly always a more considered price than your perfect rounds. And these ones, as you can see, you've got a lot of the different textures on these. So some have got that Aurora Borealis finish. These ones here are silver lined. These ones you've got there are the mattified effects. The Aurora Borealis, as you can see on those ones. So they mm. are something which usually yeah. is more considered, isn't it? Yes, it is. But you have to remember that, that you've got so many beads in a tube there. I mean, it looks like a small tube, but it's not really. You've got almost 200 beads in a gram. So you've got almost 1,500 beads in one of those little tubes. So that you can make so many things with these tubes. Can I just show you this? If I stand all these up, I know they've got labels in the way, but these are what you've been working with. Yep. And you can see, it's only really the yellow that's got a little bit left. Well, the yellow, I started making another piece at home in the night. I decided against it because I didn't like it, so that's why the yellow is <laughs> so low. Thinner. But <laughs> but that is the leftovers that yeah. we've got. Yeah. And they've made so much jewellery. This is an incredible deal. I have got multi-buyers in on this one. I'm going to pop those way, yeah. ones beside you there. But I think it's going to go a long way. It's a beautiful look that you've got. If you do fancy grabbing it, now is your chance to get all of those lovely Delicas for £29.95. And remember, Delicas work perfectly together, but also work great with your seed beads. Ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, I'm with you, Monica. Well, I'm going to do the little lollipop, as you called it. <laughs> That's somebody called it. Yeah, that one. It looks quite complicated, but it's actually really simple. Okay, so you start off with your fire line. Um, just get as long as pieces you're comfortable working with, really. It, it uses quite a lot of thread, so it goes as long as you can. Okay, then you don't need to stop a bead for this one because you're going to tie it into a knot. So I'm using six colours here of the coloured beads. You, can do, you could do more, you could do less. It uh, doesn't really matter. I mean, I wouldn't go much less than five because then the design doesn't work out very well. <laughs> But you can do six, eight, ten, as many colours as you like. Now, your main colour, which in this case is the purple, which is your background colour, you need to thread on uh, twice as many of the background colour as the number of colours you're using. So I've got six colours here. So I'm going to thread on 12 of the uh, background colour. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Bring them down to you towards the end of your thread. Then you're going to go through all of those again. Sorry. <laughs> My fingers are not working well tonight. So just go through all of those again. So you can tie them into a circle. Okay, and then just tie a double knot. Hold them all nicely together. Like so. Now, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go through the first delica after the knot, mm -hmm. just so that you're not coming up in between where the knot is. Okay, it also hides the knot a little bit. Okay, then from here on it's actually really simple. You're just going to pick up one of your coloured beads and you're going to pick up two 
of the background colour. Then you're going to jump over one of the beads in your circle and go through the second one. Okay. Just uh, jiggle them around a bit so that you, they're sitting at a point like so. Okay, you're going to do that with all your colours. So take the blue to pick up one of the colour, two of the background colour. Jump over one, go into the next one. Okay, third colour, one, two, jump over the next one, into the next one. Okay, it's starting to look like a little bit like a star shape, which looks a bit odd. The design doesn't look like it's going to work out at this point, but I promise you it will. <laughs> so yellow, two of the purple. You always have to remember to pick up two of the background colour. And that carries on through the design, which I will show you in a second what I mean by that. Oh, wrong colour, sorry. Orange. You don't necessarily have to use six different colours, obviously. You can use, you can double up, so you can do two sections with green, two sections with orange, whatever you like, really. Okay, last one. So one red, two of the purple. Okay, now you're going to jump over the, the one, go into the next one, and then you need to step up. So you need to go through the purple in your circle. Okay, the delicas are sitting so tightly together, it's quite hard to get through them. Then you need to go through the pink and through the, the purple on the corner. I'll just do it in two bits here. It's not going through because I've got the knot in there as well. I'll get there in the end. Okay, there you go. Okay, and then you step up through the purple as well. Okay, now you're coming out of the corner. Okay, now for the next round, you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to pick up the color that's in front of you here. So the next color, not the one that you just picked up, but you're going to pick up two of the color beads. Okay, and you're going to pick up two again of the purple. Always remember it's always two of the purple. Okay, then you're going to go through the next point, the bead that is the that was the middle bead in the previous round. Okay, so then you pick up the next color, one, two, and then two of the purple again, don't forget. Come out of the next point. Okay, and just Remember that yellow here, it looks like the yellow is the point, but it's not actually. The middle bead is the purple. So you're always going through the purple beads, okay, in this particular round. So two of the yellow, two of the purple, and then you're going through the purple from the previous round. Okay, you can sort of see the spiral happening, but it's all a little bit confusing still at this point. Okay. Two of the orange, two of the purple, and through the point there. Okay, and then two of the red, that's the last one, and two of the purple. Okay. Now, it's kind of hard to see which is the point here, but it's the purple. The, the purple after the red, okay, like so. Now you finish with this round. Sorry, no, you've still got the pink to go, sorry. Yeah, you've got the pink, because I haven't got two of the pink yet, so I can see that I haven't finished the round yet. So you pick up two of the pink, okay. Now, your point from the previous round with the pink is this purple here. So don't go through the blue first, go through the pink, which is from the previous round, that's your point. And then you need to go through the two blues, okay, and come out in the first purple after the blues. So you always come out through the first purple after your coloured beads when you're stepping up. Okay. Now in the next round, you're going to add three of the blues. So you're doing the same thing again and two of the purple. Okay. And you're always going through the first purple after your colours. Okay, like so. Sorry, that should have been green. Let me just change it quickly because it's going to look a bit weird. You 
just have to remember not to pick up, not, not what I did really, is pick up the previous colour, but pick up the next colour that's coming up. I think it's very but nice of you to show us how to <laughs> understand seed beads, actually. I think it's very considerate. And I was going to say, it's very easy to see when you've picked up the wrong colour, because you'll see that the colours don't line up. So two greens, and sorry, three greens, two purples, and then you go through the purple just after the colours. Oh, that looks much better. Can you see? Okay. And then it's three yellows. It's basically the same thing, round and round and round. Don't forget the two of the purples, so not just one. And then through the purple that comes after your yellows. And you just carry on like that. Uh, as, you, as you carry on with your rounds, each round you increase one of the colour beads. Uh, but uh, the rounds will get closer and closer together. Okay, and eventually, if you just add one extra yellow bead or one extra coloured bead, they're going to be too tight, it's going to be too short. So then you just add two, so you'll have three, um, you can see in the pendant uh, that there's three colours and then there's four, and then I've jumped uh, to six uh, instead of doing five, because after four, it becomes too tight, the, the circle isn't big enough, okay. so it pulls together, so you just add an extra one. And you'll see when you're going around and around, when it starts looking tight, then you just add, you just jump up with two, two extra coloured beads. Okay. But you always add two of the purple and you're always going through the first purple after the colours. Okay. And don't forget to step up at the end of each um, round. And that's pretty much it. And you just carry on until it's the size that you want it to be. Isn't that such a cool <laughs> technique? I love it. it it's yeah, so... It's actually really simple, yeah. And then all I've done is just stitched a, um, a crimp bead on, onto the back of it. So I can put a jump ring through that. Oh, oh, that's clever. Yeah, I can see that now. Mm. So you've done, you know, smaller amount of layers for the top one, and then obviously yeah, at the, the bottom of that one you've got. Um, a is it, one. It's just slightly more layers. Is that all? It is. It is just more rounds. You can oh, keep cool. going as big as you like. Oh, it's fab, isn't it, Monica? Thank you so, so, so much for showing us that. I <laughs> love that technique, and it is real. You know, happy-go-lucky. Lollipop sweets, isn't it? It's beautiful. Let me just remind you of the kit. Oh, way up. Just block a few down. I am bringing to you in this kit, oh, uh, the full rainbow. There is red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. Yeah, you've got the whole colour palette here. From the song, not necessarily the rainbow, uh, you've also <laughs> got wildfire as well here in the vert, the green colour. So if you do want to grab your hands on it, you can do so now. Cheeky bundle, anyone? I don't know why I went like that. Why did I do that accent then? <laughs> Cheeky bundle, anyone? That's really weird, wasn't it? Anyway, the voice does what the voice does. Let me show you these beautiful drops. What do you think of these, Monica? They just look so expensive, don't they? <laughs> they really they do. They look like something from a jeweler's, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, just like that. Pop a little lead pin through them, yeah. and they are going to look so expensive. I am bringing to you your green amethyst, which we love and adore. I'm also bringing to you your smoky quartz, which is a lovely quality, uh, really sort of um, transitioning colours in here. So it is going from a very, very dark smoke hue to almost a... Um, what? Gosh. Right, green amethyst has been heated. Of course it has. That's the standard. Rose quartz, totally natural, which is nice to see. This might be the only smoky quartz I've done so far this year that's natural. Smoky quartz is not a natural gemstone as a general rule. Not anymore. It's been mined out, basically. It doesn't happen that often anyway. Most smoky quartz that you'll be able to buy, not just here at Jewelry Maker, but wherever you go, will be a clear quartz that has been smoked. So essentially, they add a smoking process to it to make it look like a smoky quartz. That is probably the first this year I have brought to you that is totally natural. Gosh! 
So obviously there's slightly fewer on that strand. I think that's blatantly obvious to see, but how amazing, because they are slightly larger, I would say. Mm. Bringing to you three strands, all in one bundle, one price point coming through. 19.95, that is an absolute oh, wow. treat of a deal, I have to say. That really, really is. I would honestly, hand on heart, be fine bringing that to you naturally at that price point and I truly genuinely would be more than fine with that because I think $19.95 for a natural smoky course is a brilliant price. Throwing in the other two in my opinion for free even though it's gorgeously glowing uh, rose quartz and very expensive looking, very expensive looking um, green amethyst too. How many pairs of earrings, earrings do you reckon you could do here? <laughs> I know I did say it odd. <laughs> two, four, six, oh no, one pair, two pair, three pair, four, five, six pairs, seven pairs on each. Seven pairs on that strand, seven pairs on that strand. Let's say, that's 21 pairs already. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 ish. Is that right? No, are you times in that again? Yeah, you've, you've got the confusing there. <laughs> No, oh, you've confused me. <laughs> no, 7 times 2 equals? 14. 14 plus 15, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. About 20 pairs you're going to get. Mm. 20 pairs of earrings. Pound a pair. <laughs> put them with solid sterling silver. Jobs are good in. Yeah. What different metals would you put with each of these? Um... Well, certainly silver goes with all of them. Mm. Gold, maybe on the green you could use the gold and the and the smoky quartz. Rose quartz would look like really nice on the. I mean, rose gold with the rose quartz, I think. Pairs yeah. are nicely, doesn't it? Well done, 1995. Okay, I've got the shells to come for you. Oh, yes. Oh, I love these. Oh, did you buy the DVD? Uh, you know the DVD that we did, was it on Monday? Was it on Monday? With lovely Linda. It wasn't us who launched it, thank you so much. Or was it on the Tuesday? Anyway, Linda launched a DVD that was like Spring Blooms or something it was called. Beautiful, mm. really nice lattice work with basically these flowers in them. If you've got that DVD and you're waiting for it and you're thinking, oh, I hope I've got enough flowers, it's well worth if you like these ones. What do you mean? Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, I'm just a hazard with tweezers today. Normally I'm not. <clears throat> I am bringing to you 10 in a pack and I'm bringing to you a double trouble. That means you're getting two of the same pack. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just trying to be casual. I'm trying to drag the box <laughs> over towards me, but it's not working. <laughs> um, I am bringing to you your double trouble deal here and I absolutely love, love, love love these they look great with a head pin through them because they're just quite nice mm. and spinnable carved on one side flattened entirely on the other and as you can see double trouble pack 15 pounds and 49 pence they're each individually hand carved they're each entirely natural as well if you do like a bit of shell then coming up for you it's coming up in a minute or three um, and if you want to grab these ones they are just 15 and um, 49 they'd be great with the seed beads in your mm, kit actually yeah. wouldn't they let's do something a bit unusual the clip-on earrings I showed you <laughs> these are going to be so 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 popular these are a times four bundle and these are so popular let me just show you how these work. We are calling them clip-on earrings, but you can have them as clip-on shoes, you can have them as tie pins, whatever, whatever you can, uh, whatever you will clip to add a bit of grip, these are gonna work on. So let me show you them as a base. <laughs> what a slogan. I am bringing to you these. So let me show you the view around them. So you've got your flat side here, which has got the prongs on them. See? So you could put, um, one thing that I have seen fit on here is the, oh my gosh, what are they called? Lunar cabs. You know, the mm. lunar cabs. So they could fit on there. Prong set them in a bit. 
Um, you can see how beautifully, how shine this is. Really wonderful look that you've got there. Very high shine. Um, turning this around to the side, you've got the lever contraption here, which, as you may imagine, does just clip right down. Um, but what you can also use these for, which is why they come this way, is you get this little um, sort of almost shower head uh, effect that you get over the top. <laughs> why is that funny, Dan? Dan, why have you got the giggles so much today? No. You're setting me off. <laughs> so I've got here these. Uh, so what is kind of a, what would you call it? A mesh? I don't know, is it meshy? <laughs> anyway, uh, you can pop that on, close these over. And the reason you can do it like that is because if you wanted to, for example, where's that bracelet gone? If you wanted to do this kind of design, mm. essentially, pop your head pins or whatever it might be through, do your little head pin twist, you're then going to get that lovely bubble style effect and that could be a cluster set of earrings. So you can use it by itself or, or you know, as a, as a cluster selection if you want. Absolutely up to you. I think these are fab. We are bringing to you four pairs because it's a bundle. It's hard to get on that. I'm bringing it to you. I should be priced right now. Do you know what? Do you know what? Says lovely Liam. Five for each. I think that makes sense. Actually, do you know what? Whilst you're having a look at them, let me just pop one on. Pop them on this here. Mm -hmm. That is very comfortable. Very, very comfortable indeed. And if you can... How much? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, I sort of weirdly went slow-mo then. Whoa! <laughs> you were getting... So it's wait, buy one... Get three free. Well, these are not easy to find. I've, I've looked before and they're not easy to find. No. You can also use them for pendants because you can just clip it onto your, onto your chain. That's a cool idea. Especially if I close it up, you can mm. see obviously there's a big bale sort of look yeah. through here. That's a great mm. idea, Monica. Just switch them over. Oh, sorry. Switch them over. That is so fabulous. I love these. I think they're beautiful. And as you can see, they are very comfortable. Not everybody has their ears pierced, obviously. And actually, some people do have their ears pierced. But if you have multiple ear piercings, it's actually quite hard to get a really big statement earring into you. It, mm. uh, because if you have, you know, multiple um, sort of uh, piercings at this section, wearing a really large one, sometimes it means that, you know, your piercings are kind of peeking out, can look a little bit unusual. With this, though... It's going to cover them up yep. really nicely, isn't it? We have got £4.95. That is all. Use it four pairs for that price point. They are brilliant. And as I said, shoe clips, you could use them as your tie pins. You can actually adorn them to, um, what's that called? Your collar. <laughs> uh, one on either side of a collar, maybe. Add a little je ne sais quoi. Dan's yeah. now pulling up his collar thinking, these aren't adorned. But yeah, you could. That'd be lovely. Keep on dialing through. For those ones on my tea bar i have a i do have a very 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 blue strand you talking about this kyanite or are you talking about larimar mm. wow this is a strong strong color isn't it's it it's intense isn't it mm. i'm gonna i'm gonna remake my visual aid that explains why <laughs> this is so impossible to get like this it's obviously not impossible anything is possible with a bit of a, a bit of nous and a bit of perseverance but to be able to get that intensity of blue in this color is it really is something very special connoisseurs of the world you'll know that so if you fancy grabbing it do pop on through for this right now I mean, you 110 carats worth of your kyanite. Now, this is a filled kyanite, which isn't something that we always see, but it is something which is adding to your peace of mind because, of course, kyanite is very rarely cut into a round because it has a, a, a very direct cleavage point. <laughs> plural actually cleavage points so if you do cut it into a round and you want added security you will fill it often for more security if that makes sense because obviously they are so fracturous in fact the piece of rough behind me if i wanted to i'm not gonna but if i did want to mm. i could literally put my nail in right here and just that piece off quite easily mm. um so 
obviously I'm not going to do that. But um, if I wanted to, I could because of how this forms and how this grows. So filling it is just adding a little bit of extra security. So if you are like me and maybe slightly spatially unaware, clumsy as others call it, uh, then this is just adding a little bit of something mm. extra. £60, good price. Yeah, it's a good price. For the colour, I would say it's a good price. And also um, the, the lovely evenness of this as well. We are dropping it down though. Thirty four ninety five only. What about with my What do you think? It's very tassely. Do apologise. <laughs> there you go. I think that works really nicely together. Keep dialing. Thirty four ninety five. Well done. Ooh, shall I show this to you? Go on, man. I will. Oh, that was the kyanite. Mmm. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love it! Anyone getting married in the morning? Or any other day this year? Nope. <laughs> Anyone going to a wedding? Anyone making wedding jewellery? That'd be beautiful. Mm. Beautiful. Anyway, oh, sorry, pop it. Yes. 13. Earrings, earrings, earrings. These I love. Oh, those are interesting. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Oh. Why was the word interesting? I, I think it might be a bit early still, but uh, it makes me think of Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could be some, uh, attach some green seed bees that you've got in your kit. Mm. And you've got your Christmas tree ready. <laughs> Why not? Because you could hang anything at the bottom of them, couldn't you? Mm. Mm. We have got this beautiful corkscrew design. And I'm actually thinking, you know, you could have this as a tassel topper, couldn't you? Yeah. You have got that beautiful, that beautiful movement in these that is just a continual spiral. It just keeps going and going. As mm. you wear these, I think they're going to really add interest. They're quite hypnotic, actually, aren't they, when you're looking at them? Mm. We're going to bring to you, they come with the shepherd hook attached. And they're just there for you to add whatever you wish to them. That is um, £11 exactly for the pair. And you're looking at way over two and a half grams in total here. If you don't want these to be earrings, we have left it, as we always do here at Jury Maker, for you to make it into something else. So you just open that section up, use the shepherd hooks for something else, and use these for something else. You know, as I said, tassel toppers, for example, or as the lovely Monica said, you know, putting in your green to make it a little bit of a tree design. Um, oh, hey up! Little, uh, get a bit of polymer clay, make a GG, pop that on it. <laughs> yeah? You on board with me? Yeah? Make a GG, make a horse. Ah, <laughs> unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> it's a GG. What's a GG? A horse. What? Don't joke with me. You, you are all. Lie into my face. What do you mean you've never heard of a GG? <laughs> no. Monica, have you heard of a GG? No. That is what you call them. <laughs> yes! Oh, <of> horses. <laughs> horses are called a GG. They are. That's Why? what they're called. They just are. That's what they're called. Chris? Yeah? Do you call horses GGs? No, I call them horses. Fine, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we should never ask. <laughs> GG's texting, thank you. Thank you, everyone who knows. Okay, where did you say next up? I can't believe that. <laughs> Monica, I thought you were going to have me back then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can only be honest. Uh, Laura, you messaged in saying, can I see those pills in real life? Do you mind? Because you've just seen a picture. Do, please do message in because people think I'm making this up. Everybody though at home is going, nope. So that is the pearl for you, Laura. Do we still have some, Liam? Yeah, one of those at the bottom of the spiral. Earrings. Yes. Mm. It's a lovely idea. Mm. Yes, we can. Pop it, chops. Oh, no, there's nothing in there, sweet cheeks. Mm. Um, yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yeah. It's a what? No, that is not just a Chester thing. From the founding father of the Chester race course. That is not just, I am from Chester. That is not just a Chester thing. It's only because the founding father of Chester race course was called Henry G, apparently. Yeah. Well, that has blown my mind. Call it the GGs. <laughs> That is shocking. It's probably because it's from the 1500s and I'm so old. Yes, now I get it. Thanks, team. Do you know what, though? This is a bit pot kettle black. Seems as Liam was showing us these sweets before, explaining how, oh, they're worldwide. How have you not seen them before? You get them everywhere. You get them all over. I went, I bet they're local. He went, no, they're not. You can get them all over. I've seen them everywhere in the country. Da, 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 da. Factory down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Liam has just gone, excuse me, I bought them from and named three local places. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let me bring to you now, if I may, 75 carrots worth. Do you know what Liam says? For this pure, time-wasting nature we've just taken up for the last four minutes of your lives, we're going to give you a special treat on these. <laughs> these are beautiful drops. Seven pounds and 95 pence for you today. And it's a brilliant opportunity. Becky, you are right! Yes, Ella! Ella, I've always thought you were ace. Pat says, I've heard that before. It's quite common. Some people say it be uh, because of G up. Oh, yeah, it's G up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean five of us here have not heard of it and now just those two and me? Thank you very much for your, thank you very much for your text in. <laughs> Seven pounds and 95 pence for you today. Thank you very much for your support, wonderful viewers. I didn't know that about G, that's incredible. Oh my gosh, I feel like my mind's just been filled with knowledge. <laughs> I just thought that was a full-on thing, the GGs. I wonder why you all looked at me like blank. And nobody wanted to ask you. No, and everyone was just like being really polite, which is very unusual for these lot, as you well know. You thought it was a band. You, are you talking about, not the GGs, the BGs? <laughs> you can tell by the way I chop my hooves. <laughs> Room now, move on, Liam. Where do you, what do you mean that was good for me? <laughs> yes, I've got a gorgeous strand in here. <laughs> oh, that is so lovely. Oh, what do you think? Lynn's in. Come on, Lynn. My granddad used to call the horses GG's. Yes, Lynn. See, <laughs> granddad. <laughs> Don't you get on board with this age thing now, Monica? Just because I'm working with whippersnappers. <laughs> Thank you for that, Lynn. Your granddad was wise, clearly. <laughs> I am bringing to you 12 carats worth of your seriously sparkling sky blue topaz. These are absolutely beautifully micro-faceted. What do you think about this strand, Monica? Well, they're really nice to add details. You can use them uh, in place of seed beads, can't you? Because they a little bit bigger than seed beads, but you can use them as accents in anything that you do with your seed beads. And they just add lots and lots of sparkle, don't they? They're really, really pretty. Incredible, isn't it? Mm. Really beautiful shine and sparkle you've got here. It gives you a really interesting amount of light and sort of fire, but also inner glow as well. So just a small amount will go a very long way indeed. Something old! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> I was gonna go, something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. <laughs> but as soon as I said something old, I knew I'd just set these lot off. 17 pounds and 95 pence for you today. 12 carats worth. Grab it for something blue. Oh, that's nice. I am bringing to you your beautiful sky blue topaz, which is still 
um, you know, an opportunity to get the Chrysocolla that would work very well alongside it. Very well, I think. Because you've got all those lovely shades in there, haven't you? So if you did fancy it, you can. Ooh, also, centre stamen for the floors. Oh, that's pretty. That would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's a nice strand. Oh, oh that's a fine. That, that goes so well with the kit. I was thinking the exact <laughs> same thing. Let me hold these. Hang on, can I, can I hold them at the side? Yeah, of course I can. Ooh. <laughs> They're being dangerously. <laughs> you wish this had fallen apart. <laughs> I am bringing to you, look at all those different colours. See every single one of these colours at some point in the strand. Mm. Just trying to hold the end. Oh no. Just trying to oh no. I'm gonna lift it up. You're now. losing them. <laughs> oh no, they've all stuck to me slightly warm hands. <laughs> I am bringing to you all of the colours here and in the strand. That's a good way of doing it, isn't it, Dan? That is so much better. Can I see oranges? Yep. Reds. There. Check. Pink, check. Purple, check. Blue, check. Green, mm -hmm. check. Check, 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 check. This is every colour, really, you could hope to get your hands on. £8.95, check. Uh, this is for 150 carats worth of these. They are eight mils, uh, perfect rounds, as you can see. So, what could you do with these to bring that colour out even more? Well, I was thinking to use them under the rainbow. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely one. Yeah. yeah, one in the middle of those rainbow earrings. Um, actually, if I just grab those over a second. I'm sorry to reach across you, but right. let me just show you here. I'm well aware of this text message. I'm not referencing it, because until I do, you have to keep it on screen. <laughs> let me just show you this. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? What did that text say? Becky, you are right and they are wrong. <laughs> they are, oh no, they are all wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is a lovely little confidence boost, this. <laughs> Thank you again, Lynn. <laughs> Anyway, well done to all of you who are getting these. Yeah, one of those at the start of these are lovely rainbows. And if the rainbows are your things, remember, remember. Oh, what now? Stretch your bracelet oh, yeah. with that little flower mm. as a ring. Oh, way up. Oh, stretch your, yeah, stretch your bracelet. Yeah. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Lucy will have called them GGs before. What do you reckon, presenter Lucy? Do you think she'll be a GG -er or a non gg -er? <laughs> She'll be a gg -er. <laughs> Anyway, £8.95. I'll hand them back to you. Thank yeah. you, Monica. Okie pokely, we are about to bring to you now something um, a little bit different. I really appreciate this strand because I think you get to see the beauty that is transformative gemstone. A lot of the time when we bring you shell, what we will do is we will essentially um, we use resin to sandwich a beautiful design. I remember way back when um, bringing to you abalone and someone messaged, um, in, uh, um, messaged me on my Rebecca Redican present Facebook page and basically said, I'll be honest with you, I saw your prices at Jewelry Maker and I thought, meh, I bet I can find cheaper. So I went online, bought some from an online retailer, and yes, they were cheaper, but when they got to me, they were lovely on one side, and then just flat on the other, they were just dull. What we tend to do with our shell is we will get nice shell, nice shell, sandwich it together with resin. That's what we do majority of the time. Mm. What I'm about to bring you now, though, is a little bit different, and in my opinion, quite a bit better. Stop by. <laughs> Have a little look at this because I think it's a stunning design. That is 
bridal. That is mm beautiful that is pearlescent and yes it is natural if i just take this away from my neckline for a moment i want you to be able to see that almost pearlescent appearance because i think it is absolutely divine i love that you're getting through this these pinks and these silvers almost aren't they silver pure white where would you wear this and where would you wear this Mm. because I have got for you a completely natural two-sided strand so usually for something like this I might get a white shell and then sandwich it together with resin and bring you the black shell but not with this essentially we've taken the inside of the shell which is a different color to the outside of the shell and we have spent time and effort and energy polishing and shaping both sides so actually what you're getting here completely naturally is a very two-sided beauty on this side the white side if I put this against my skin give me two ticks Oops, stay there if I show you this side the white side you can see these finish in a really nice crisp line they are quite um, they're a little bit like the sterling silver metal bars we do you know we do that like 300 pounds um, necklace uh, they're quite like that they're very very cut off at the bottom but on this side the black side can you see how we've sort of graduated it down so you actually almost get a little inkling of the color that's about to come through you have got golds pinks silvers you know greens teals what kind of colors can you see on here there's so many isn't there it's a very luxurious look. You are going to be getting a beautiful amount here. Remember, it's entirely natural, okay? So it's, it's a bit of a scarcity. With this kind of design, obviously they're all individual. Just pop one sterling silver spacer or one gold spacer or one shell round, whatever you want in between. And this is going to space out to be one of the most head-turning sort of collar designs almost that you've maybe made for a while. But actually, do it differently put big spaces or big gemstones in between and this could literally make two very iconic looking necklaces couldn't it or maybe even an asymmetric design if you wanted mm. it to 29 pounds and 95 pence fantabulous this is where it's closed before this has been a great price it should stay there for it's a friday evening we've not seen it since last september so we thought let's bring you an app Absolute steal of a deal. We are bringing it to you today, not for $28.95 and not even for $19.95. Brand new low coming through on your natural reversible shell. $16.95, never before seen that way. We've had it, we've kept it quite a, a while. You're getting around about 41 pieces on the entire strand and we're bringing them to you reversible designs mm. easily for just $16.95. I think that's incredible. It is, yeah. What yeah. would you do with this one? Well, I was just thinking you could wear it, if you, if you were a bride, you could wear it with the white side showing for your wedding and then for the reception in the evening, just turn it around. Lovely idea. You've got a darker, Lovely darker idea. look. It's stunning, isn't it? Just look, check out those colours and the way it moves and the way it melds. That is such an incredible deal. Plenty of hue coming through for this right here, right now. $16.95. Beep, 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 beep. Bex, not very often you're wrong, but you're right. Not very often. You're wrong. I like that. But you're right again. Oh my gosh, that's brilliant. <laughs> my dad played GGs when he put us on his back and galloped along. We loved it. Fab show gang. Gail. I, I love you, Gail. Gail. That's genius. <laughs> I think. I think that is now a general consensus. No. Yeah, use lot. Just because you've not heard of a Gigi. All right, I reckon we all need to go home and start asking our mates. Let's get a survey. Do you know what? It's going to be like those one at school. Do you know when you're at school, then you used to have to go out in like your local town and ask people questions about how they got into town. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Did you take public transport? 
How much was your ticket? Do you know what I mean? Did Everyone you, had to do did that. Did you ride on a GG? Yeah. <laughs> did you get here on a GG? I mean, that would spice it up at least, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway. Well done, absolutely every single one of you got your hands on that. Thank you everyone who's texted in saying that GG is an actual thing. How's about I bring you some lapis? Has anyone, thank you for that question, <laughs> Kerry. I'll repeat what you've just said. <laughs> Kerry, this is Kerry. Liam, has anybody texted in saying that it's not a thing? Liam, not a one. <laughs> There is still time for people to message in. Agreeing with me. <laughs> Have a little nose at this lovely lapis lazuli. This would go great. Oh no, um, oh. you know me, uh, one to own? Must have, today's must have, yeah, that I did at eight o'clock. I can never get them the right way around. Uh, yeah, today's must have the, I think we've still got some, but that beautiful Chrysocola that is still available for you. 36 carats worth of your lapis lazuli that we have got our hands on. And we are bringing it to you entirely naturally. We're seeing less and less of it natural because more of it that we're finding now is, is a little bit cloudy, actually. But we're bringing this to you now at 12 95 only. So if you like it, you know what to do. 0800 644 464 press 1. It's not the right number, but it goes well with the GG song, doesn't it? <laughs> it's hard to do that in time with the GG song. Oh eight oh oh six four 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 six. No, I still can't do it. <laughs> yes, let's squeeze one more in, Liam. Maroon Druzy. Well, we started with Druzy. Why not end with Druzy? Number nine. Oh yes. Oh, magical looking. Oh, nice. That's lovely. Loads of colours in here. We are bringing to you here a lovely bit of Druzy, which has got a really nice array of colours in it. So it kind of looks like one of those um, cars. You know, the cars that go past that like look like they change colour. Do you know what I mean? We have got for you here your wonderful Druzy. I'm giggling because they're reminding me of my cracking M6 story with Druzy earlier on. <laughs> watch it don't worry you hardly missed anything uh 20, 270 carats for 7.95 monica thank you so much for today thank you for having me got your dvd filming tonight but when are you next on uh next friday perfect next yeah. friday lovely yeah. monica's going to be back with us um tomorrow you have got the incredible l it's mentioned in only fools and horses song only fuzz and horses, da, 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 da. but it's before that. Yeah, yeah. So, everybody got 20 seconds. Thank you for your message. I have got um, uh, Claire McDonald on the morning show. I have got the wonderful Linda on the mid, and then me with Spellbinding Laura Binding tomorrow evening. Mwah, have a fab evening. Thanks for your text. See you tomorrow. Our brand new Get Started with Jewellery Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewellery making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewellery designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash getstartedwithjm where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewellery making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewellery making journey. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share.